It says D link on it, so maybe. Huh? I am not connected to PUBG. <laughs> oh, I asked if you were? Yeah. And of course, we're live, but it moved us to another room, of course. Yeah, of course it did. There's something to be said about StreamYard, isn't there? Fuck, my keyboard's loud. Uh, give everybody a chance to switch over. I don't know why it does this to me. It's something with Streamlabs. Gotta be. Dealer, you do these every week. What the fuck am I doing wrong with Streamlabs? <laughs> Who's got to switch over for what? What are you talking about? It puts me in a different room every time, dude. Every single time. Yeah, yeah, it schedules the event, and then it doesn't put us in the right. Yeah. It, it switches it. What? I should turn this <laughs> I hear you, Infinite. All right. Everybody's coming in. Let's get this intro started, and let's do this shit. <clears throat> What is up, everybody? Welcome to Wednesday night. It's 8 o'clock, and guess what that means? It's time for Gaming Beyond the Box. And sorry, I had a couple of uh, panel members talking through that demo. They didn't get the hint to, uh, you know, mute themselves. So, anyway, as you can see, we've got one hell of a panel. We've got 11 gamers on the panel. So, I'm a gamer? This will probably run a little over two hours. I'm pretty sure because dealer charges five hundred dollars an hour, so we're not gonna let him go too yep. far. So, in the uh, up, ready, guys. Let's do, this. let's do this shit because we got a lot of stuff to cover tonight. Oh my God, he just ran in. So, without further ado, let's introduce you to all the guests and all the lovely people on the panel, and the ones that are not so lovely, like Fort Boy. Anyway, I'm sexy. <laughs> let's start with the order I'm looking at them in. Cybernox, what's going on, dude, and what you been up to? Ah, uh, talking to my friends on the internet. Yes. All right, guys, I don't know if you guys were supposed <laughs> to hear that. What? Uh, <laughs> we kind of, yeah, we kind of heard that. that. Yeah, we did. We, we heard everything yeah, you just said. Yeah. We have no idea what the fuck it was, but we heard it. <laughs> Mom, What's going on, everybody? Glad to be here, man. This is the second podcast I've ever uh, been part of. Uh, I've been part of Primetime Gaming with Boom. He was the first ever to reach out to me. Boom was nice enough to uh, ask me to be a guest tonight. It's an honor. Thank you so much. And let's talk some games. Glad to be here with everybody. And we are glad to have you here, Cyber. And next, you guys may have heard of this guy. He runs some type of podcast or just getting started called RDX. It's Real Deal Xbox. I've, I've saw him a couple times it. around and just thought it'd be cool to have him on here. Mr. Dealer himself. Dealer, what have you been up to, dude? I, I thought you were talking about Cybernox. <laughs> it's just a pleasure to be here with Cybernox. The rest of you can fuck off. Oh, uh, also, we should have a great uh, show tonight, guys. Thanks for joining us. Hit that like button. Show this out. We do appreciate it. That was short and sweet, just like Fort Boy's penis. All right, Fork. 
Whoa, it's sweet now? You just yes. made short. You made someone choke in the back. <laughs> Forward boy, what have you been up to, dude? Look, it doesn't matter how long it is. Someone eventually is going to choke on it. <laughs> uh, just uh, messing around. <laughs> just uh, messing around, kind of playing games and whatnot. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing tonight. we got a lot of stuff to cover. And uh, got a lot of uh, panel members. You know, Not 30, not 60, but we got enough, so we will definitely do this. We we have one or two. It's it's yeah. crazy, man. We just we love these big shows. So next we have Mr. Cray. What is going on, Mr. Simmons? What's going on, everybody? You know me, I'm doing my thing, man. Drinking and gaming, man. Drinking and gaming. Ready to talk this stuff. Have some fun. Let's go. That's the way we like to do it, man. We don't, like I said, we don't take this shit all that serious. We're gamers. We just like to talk about games. We can leave all the uh you know, the bullshit aside. Save the drama for your mama. <laughs> That's it. And then we've got our first panel alcoholic, and he's certified. Husk, what's going on, Husk? You're not an alcoholic unless you go to meetings. That's true. I'll, <laughs> I'll stay in denial. Um, no, we got some badass panel members tonight. Fucking pumped to be here. So, cheers. Infinite, thank you, uh, thank you, sir, for the four ninety nine super chat. Look at this wonderful panel. Hit that like button and share it out. Thank you, sir, and please hit the like button, share it out. Tell your friends, tell your family, and tell people that don't, don't like you. This is a good way to torture them. Uh, <laughs> then we got my good, my good friend, my Canadian brother, Noof Nukem. What is up, Noof? Boom, kaboom! Noof Nukem is in the room, and I am glad to be here on Gaming Beyond the Box. My fruit of the looms are coming at you in glorious 4K60, and skid marks have never been so detailed. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like. That. Nice. Uh, this, Sixty uh, frames. And <laughs> then we have Obi One, who's probably the youngest person on the panel, but that's okay. We don't pay me any money anyway. Obi, what's up? Obi One's oh, no, here. No, no. Shit, don't tell You're me. You're the chosen one, bitch. Speak up. <laughs> uh, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm glad to be back. I've had a lot of shit going on lately, so I've missed the last two shows. But I'm back. I'm excited tonight. We have a couple of frauds on the panel. King Fraud, Dealer Gaming. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it should be a fun night, man. Let's get into it. <laughs> Valorian says there are more panel members than Unreal 5 can put on a screen at once. Oh, man. Hey, uh, shout out to Valorian. Valorian. <laughs> hey, you guys talk shit. That, that Unreal 5 engine. That demo looked great. You can't talk shit. Come on now. <laughs> Anthem was great. Controlling. Too. Stop and, it. And next, <laughs> we we have Stubbs Gaming, the man that says he is going to sit at the pub and wait till this shit blows over. What's up, Stubbs? Exactly. Good morning. It's one o'clock here. How are you doing? Thanks for the invite. He's getting up for breakfast. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, we'll see. That, I, we, we get a lot of people that watch us, you know, across the pond, and everybody says, you know, they wish we could do the show earlier. Sadly, we just can't, you know, Stubbs is giving up sleep to be here with us tonight. So um, um. everybody give it up to Stubbs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I mean, my parole officer doesn't let me do anything before 1 p.m., so. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> that's that's. I don't have anything to say on that one. Okay. And then, <laughs> then we've got our panel stoner, Ghost. What's going on, Ghost? Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope everybody's uh, staying safe out there. Okay, so we're just going to get into it. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. So, all right, let's go. Brother, I hope you didn't put too much salt in there because it made my feet hurt just thinking about what you just said. Nine. <laughs> and, of course, <laughs> me, I'm Wilmy Hood. I'm just, I don't matter. I'm just the guy, you know, that's here. So a little fuck boy, yeah. That's it. How that's many it. how many cups of coffee have you had? I've had one or two. How many cups of coffee have you had? No, I say yeah, one or two. I've had one or two. Or one or two pots. Y'all gotta leave Wimmy alone, okay? He's, he's had enough he I, struggles I've, today. I've had enough to get me through this because I'm expecting a big show. We've got a lot of people here. I've got a lot of friends here and a lot of other gamers. So <laughs> first, Fort, what do you think we talk about uh Xbox's pod uh show last week? He's still yeah. thinking. Fart? <laughs> the gears are turning. Fart? <laughs> just just uh, say it wasn't very good. I I liked it, but I don't know. Um, part of me, I was hoping for a little bit more of games that were going to be exclusive to Xbox itself, and seeing its full power, you know, unleashed. Of hey, this is what you're going to get and everything. But we got a lot of indie titles, so it's kind of like okay. 
I mean, I, I, I want to see the beast. I want to see it unleashed. I want to see what oh, it can well, hang do. Hang on, let me send you a picture. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, God. You got a macro camera on that thing? Because, uh... <laughs> yeah. You got one of those little surgical cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Man, those tweezers are mad. Oh, the, the, okay. No, I mean, I... I mean, I could be wrong, but me, I mean, we've all been waiting for this, so to me, it was kind of like, you know, expecting the Indy 500 and there's mopeds out there. It's like, yeah, it's still a race, but and they still got engines, but it's like, but I wanted to see it. I wanted to see, hey, this is 4K, 120 frames per second, the beast. Yeah, and they said it can get up to 120. I, I wanted to see that. I wanted to see, you know, Halo Infinite. I wanted to see the games that we've been hearing about, but haven't seen anything about, and, we, you know, I can't be the only one that's like, I want to see what you've been. Why I should buy it? You mean why you I should... the actual next gen software? Yeah, and a next yeah, gen I, I, debut I mean... for the first time ever on a console that is fucking insanely powerful. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Huh? So you, yeah. yeah so you, instead of the V engine, you got the little two stroke. I mean, mm -hmm. to me, it, it's like <laughs> I have Xbox One X. I want to see why I should give it up for that. I want to see what it what it can do. I want to see ray tracing in full. I mean, I want to see everything that it can do. Just be like, holy shit. I mean, okay, it's like when you go into Best Buy and you go to buy a TV and you're like, the TV looks wonderful, I want it. Then you get home. It's like you walk into Best Buy and the QLEDs on the wall are, are they have 480i on them. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, th th that was my thing. I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, it's just my Here, opinion, but... Here's the fucking problem. They straight up, it was all based on miscommunication and way overblown expectations. End of story. Well, I mean, it could be we. That well, it's a debut way, but... of next gen gameplay, though, right? It doesn't matter well, what expectations true. are there. They didn't show you one rise on a roll moment, one kill zone moment. They didn't show you fucking shit that there was anything indicative of what the box can do. Yeah, first, I mean, that, um, first impression. That bright memory though. was, wasn't it? That was the that, only I mean, one that was actually it, there. That, that, that was, that was, that was detailed, cool. But even that, they streamed it at 30 ass. FPS on oh, YouTube. That's now, true. now, now, that's speaking, true. speaking of the medium. Uh, I know I'm not, I'm, I, I have not reached dealer gaming status yet, or none of us have, but what? I was actually lucky enough to speak to one of the developers from the team that is creating the medium. No and, shit. Yes, and we will actually have him on the podcast sometime in the fall before this game releases. Nice. Yeah, yeah I was reading about that cool. on the, the horror game Next Gen, and that it, uh, I guess we could lead into it, that's up to you, Wilmy, but I was reading about it, it's kind of like, that's, that sounds impressive. The medium, the medium is one of those games that they're, they've already said cannot run on current gen. And yeah, because, that because, because of their amazing. gameplay design, yeah. Yeah, and Artur, which is his name, they're from Poland, was nice enough to talk to me for over an hour about the new game they have coming out. And I was so excited. Dude, well, that's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> So, but we will have him on the podcast sometime in the fall before that game releases. And I will let everybody know when he's going to come on. So, there is that. And I was really thrilled for that game. Like Noble just said in the, in the uh, chat, Scorn. I'm really looking excited for that one, too. I mean, that I look like Dante's Inferno. That's like, the first thing I thought when they started showing shows, like a new Dante's Inferno. Honestly, it was all gross and gritty, and oh, it was weird, man. But it looks amazing. It does. Oh. It does. And before it was dealer's we favorite it, showcase for the whole show. Don't worry, mm. Tempest. Tempest, thank you for the five dollars super chat. Giggy giggy. How about that tech demo? Woo! Can't wait to play that game. <laughs> oh, shit, we are going to get into that one. We are going to get into that one later, trust me. But what's everybody else's thoughts on, on last Thursday? Well, I'm going to say this, the inside Xbox. It, it was inside Xbox. It was okay. Um, like I said, that bright, infinite memory, uh, that first shooter, that looked good. and um, It looked like it was running pretty good, but 30 frames, again, like I said, with the, with the, the way the hardware is looking and everything, it should be more. But it is it's, it's early, right? It's early. Hell, next gen AD started yet. Yeah, technically, we know it takes a couple of years for them to start really tapping into the power. But uh, I think the first two years we still gonna see some thirty frame games. I mean, that's just the bottom line because you got like like what Ubisoft did with uh, the Assassin's I Creed. Got they still got to sell to the people that got PS4 and Xbox One. And 
if you go on and cut them off, they stay, you know, stuck in the past, they might not want to buy it. They're going to feel some type of way. You can't please everybody, but as we all know, we've been gaming for a while. A couple of years into it, once the old gen is pretty much on his last legs, when they really start focusing on the new hardware, the new games, new tech, the games get better, they get bigger, they get more beautiful, and it's just going to take some time, but you know, we all want it here, we want it now. That's just human nature. And well, let me, let me let me say that uh, Ubisoft have not confirmed 30 FPS for Valhalla. Their official statement. We were talking last night on RDX, and I don't I don't even want to harp on this anymore because I felt like we did it enough last night. We had uh, Ricari Austin from Inside Xbox on the show last night, and he was uh, and we were talking about uh, Ubisoft statement and how they they said that. We are going to do a minimum of 30 FPS. Minimum, yeah. that's the headlines made it seem like, hey, that's what we're locking it to. But none of that's confirmed. Secondly, AC and all the Ubisoft games have been running well above 30 FPS on PC forever. These systems are easier to develop for than any that have come before. You're going from, you know, x86 to x86 for the first time ever. And it should be pretty pretty easy, especially given the power and, and the amount of performance you have on all fronts. There's no reason it shouldn't unless they tied either some kind of animations or physics to the frame rate on the console version. There, There's no reason you should not be able to crush 60 FPS. I showed 60 FPS got Odyssey gameplay last night on the show, and I'm doing that on a Threadripper. That is not a gaming CPU. I had no problem uh, hitting that frame rate at all. Um, point is, nothing's confirmed right now. And when it comes to pleasing the guys on the lower end consoles, if, you know, if they were really worried about that, they would have never enhanced games and really leveraged the Pro yeah. or the X, right? So that's like 2 to 5% of the overall install base. And you've got all these guys on the base model that didn't get to experience that, but they still went out of their way to add all these features and frame rate modes for games. And I, I, don't think develop, I don't think they would hold it back because of that. And I, I don't see a reason they would hold it back for a technical reason, unless, of course, physics or, or some, something else tied to a frame rate. There's no reason it should be stuck at 30. Uh, Bright did look good. You're right. Uh, that was definitely running at 60 FPS. If you guys have not gone back and look at those trailers, they, they've actually uploaded them. At oh, it's amazing. 4K. At the proper 60, right? Yeah. The and proper I'm, actually, and all I'm actually playing yeah. that on PC. That game mm -hmm. is yeah. amazing, dude. Yeah, it looks how demanding, like how demanding is that game? Where are you able to run that at? Oh, I haven't even looked, dude. But, I mean, it's it's just off the charts. It's mm. like they took the best parts of several games and just put them into one. It's it's yeah. fucking awesome. So, well, you get it on Steam because yeah, it's I need a reason to play on my PC. Yeah, man. God dang. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Ubi will like they still have you know X amount of time to op like further optimize this for Series X. It's like it's not over, right? Well, they already said it's running at 4K, and and if you don't have a CPU bottleneck, which they do not, that I mean that's a fact. Then, then you should be able to hit 60. You should be able to just half the resolution or checkerboard it, and boom, there you go. It should be just that easy. I don't easy. understand why they do. Why won't they just do half the resolution, do 1440p, 60? Give us a mode, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fuck. I feel like they should implement options. Like, I know it's not a PC. I get that. But when, you're, when your console has that kind of power, like, why not just give the gamer the choice of, you know, I want the highest resolution at... They do it today, FPS. right? They do it on the X. How many games do that now? Right? It's, it's like, a, it's why a, not? A, a lot of games that do it on the X that it gives give, you uh, performance or fidelity. Mm -hmm. Give us the choice, so, man. It's, it's enough power to do both. Yeah, like, 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 here's five is the best of both worlds. There. I mean, I guess to go off what Husk was saying, I know it's not a PC, but at the same time, we're getting to the point where PC and console, the Windows getting. Smaller. So slim it is. that why can't we have what we have on PC where you load the game and okay, yeah, you don't have settings because most people don't may not understand how to do the settings so you don't blow your system, but make it to where it does it on its own to where, hey, you know what, you got a Series X, we're going to bump this shit up or hey, you're on a S, uh, Xbox One S, okay, we're going to lower it down to where you don't do anything, but the game itself already does all that for you. I mean, Every PC game does that pretty much. It allows you to adjust the graphics to turn what you want on and what you don't want on. Well, and it shouldn't. It should be able to do it dynamically. Like if you choose 30 FPS, it should be able to give you the the best graphical fidelity and and quality and the highest resolution at you know your 30 frames. And then if you want 60, yeah, like dealers say, you do some checkerboarding, you do some some upscaling, you. you you make it look as good as possible, but still hit that 60 frames. Hold that thought just for a second. Ashton Luca, thank you, Miss Luca, for the super chat. 
Yo, just coming through to drop some support. Have a good one, fellas. And you know we intend to, Luca, and you do rock, young lady. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, if you guys don't mind, I'll, I'll give my two quick two cents on what the show, what I thought of the show last week. Um, thought uh, it was a mishap on Microsoft. They've been, they've been communicating and been hitting. You know, their marketing has been on point uh, for a long time now. It was a small mishap, but can potentially become a blessing in disguise. Um, I, where was the quality control on that on that show though? In the trash can. Um, in the trash can. <laughs> oh, yeah. Exactly where the it was. She was in the trash can like, in the alley. The get go, man. Are you it, saying it was it, in Aaron Greenberg's refrigerator that was behind you? Yeah. What was he doing? Like, if you're the head of marketing, come on, image is everything. Like, you come out there and you have like the worst quality. Well, he markets uh, the, the first party games, which they weren't uh, even there. So I'm not I really know, sure I, why. In, yeah, in his defense, <laughs> he's probably not using his standard computer that he has at home. He was in, he's been in friggin' Montana for a month. God knows what kind of equipment he has there, what even oh, his man. internet connections like. So uh, you know, you got to cut him some slack. We don't know the story behind. I'm pretty 100%. sure, Microsoft, you know, that he's probably got fucking fantastic gear when he's at home. So it comes through everything, right? They were showcasing gameplay and they were showcasing the power of the Series X. Let's say. And they have this stream at 30 frames per second. Like, what are we doing? You know, like, um, I, overall, I thought it was an okay show. I, me, personally, when they, they said they were going to reveal the uh, Series X gameplay, I only thought that they were going to show Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay. Hi, that, was go- that, mad, was, that was the game that was going to showcase the pilot. <laughs> no, we didn't even get that. But, like I said, this was a small bump in the road for Microsoft. Hopefully, they'll you know learn from it and it could be like i said a blessing in disguise now they know what to expect you know and if you especially on uh on a, on a year without e3 the where everyone is doing all these um digital marketings and the these digital showcasing uh showcases and events like you have to bring your a game every single time i personally thought they should have brought at least one or two announcements like first impressions was everything when they said that they were going to show gameplays from the Series X, everybody had their eyes on that. Everybody. For them to like overhype and under-deliver, it just hit the uh, the mark for me. So yeah, that's I mean, where the miscommunication is. Like, like it, it, the, the second I saw that shit displayed at the bottom of the screen where it said something like, basically it was indicative of, of Series X gameplay. It wasn't like captured from the series right, right. like that's when i knew it was in trouble well yeah, man. i mean that's just straight up miscommunication the only the only the one thing i'm excited about i got one thing i was asking for new games not remasters not remasters. oh 100 percent, i agree with oh that, my yeah. god there's so many remasters yeah Stop. 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 There was very few identifiable IPs in that list. A lot of it was new stuff. A lot of it did not look absolutely next gen. A lot of it looked really good. It just didn't look absolutely next gen. Like today when that tech demo, that definitely looked like a next gen. Like this is being built with New Harbor kind of deal. But, you know, outside of that, you got to be happy there was at least new IPs. And at least Microsoft has been at least proactive with showing and getting information out there. They just got to be a little bit more in tune with how they market things and the messaging they relay to their fans who are, you know, especially in this time now, this COVID and everybody's kind of stuck at home. I think the, the eyes are on uh, these companies and, and the scrutiny is probably higher than ever before because everybody's just like, you know, just dying for some information to take us through the summer. So uh, I'll leave it at that on that. I thought it was decent, but just not uh, not quite what we expected. So the plus question- side that everybody has to realize is that all the, a lot of the games that they showed were Series X exclusives are not going in the the Xbox One family of consoles. Did he even like proper properly like display that? Like, you know, we'll figure that out <laughs> afterwards. I was just like, what is going on here? Well, we had always told because yeah, you know, everyone's saying this is held back because of the old shit. Not understanding how graphics scale, right? We had always said, look, gameplay design is what's going to hold something back, not visuals, right? Um, mm-hmm. And then they announced that uh, things like the medium are not going to work on older systems. My guess is uh, they need that SSD for that super quick world transition, right? Stuff like that that just can't be done on older stuff. The game's not necessarily graphically demanding. Like, the game looks good, but I've seen better, right? Doom Eternal, Red Dead, there's a ton of better looking stuff than the medium. But it's the fact that it does things with mechanics that you've never experienced on console. Be that, well, uh, like I said, a yeah. very quick transition between the two realms that you're in, 
or whatever it is that they need that SSD or that CPU for something that can't be done today. That stuff's cool. Um, but when it comes down to it, the only thing that and keep in mind, people are talk, trying to talk shit about the, the thing that happened today. But when it comes down to it, that wasn't even Sony's first party thing. That wasn't anything. Oh, that was right. a fucking third party yeah. engine demo. And that was showing you what can be done on that hardware. And people right. are like, let's run it at 14, 40, 30, not even understanding for one, how, how demanding global illumination is, especially the latest iteration of it. And secondly, this is a engine that has never been used to make a game before. It's going to become far more optimized as time mm. goes on. The SDKs are going to get better as well. So, uh, and, and add on top of that, that if you want to checkerboard that and get it up to 4K, you can, even on PS5's power, or you can double the frame rate of 1440p. There's a lot that they can do on top of the optimization. So there's not a lot of shit people can talk. They're not really going to focus on ray tracing with PS5. The capability in the hardware ray tracing just isn't there from what we know. It's there, but it's not all that good compared to Series X. So I don't, I don't blame them, but global illumination is big. It is, a, it is a big deal. It's a demanding effect, and I was pretty impressed with that. That's so I, got, five, right? oh, I do have a question for you, though, dealer, about that. Are, are mm -hmm. devs going to use global illumination if they have the hardware for the ray tracing? Are they even going to use that? Yeah, because the global global illumination, like Gears 5, right? They talked about the Series X patch. Mm -hmm. That's software-powered global illumination. That's the biggest upgrade, one of the biggest ones. Uh, and it's powered by the soft. It's They call it software because it's not actually leveraging the hardware for the ray tracing. That's not even being leveraged for that software GI. It's just so. a technique. Yeah, it's a very demanding light bounce technique that, that can fill rooms with uh, subsurface kind of light refractions and, and alter the color of these different refle refre reflections very authentically, where developers have become really good at faking it over the past several years. This is a very, very high-end, actually simulated technique for that, kind of like ray tracing. Ray tracing is kind of the, the holy grail, but this is something different, and you can combine the two uh, and, yeah, and the in different ways. The hardware can actually so. handle it this time. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's something that you can't really talk shit on. It was more impressive looking than anything we've seen at a next-gen, this is real power, bullshit Thursdays thing. Um, and if Microsoft would have showed something like that, we wouldn't be talking so much shit. Uh, we just want to see very, very beautiful-looking games, uh, especially for a next-gen showcase. Don't showcase what look like Xbox One S games to me. You know, yeah. you five, so maybe right? you can answer me this real quick. So the thing with the medium is the transitioning between worlds, right? That's what needs to be. That's why you need that power. I don't know that for sure. Be. I'm saying that I think the SSD might have something to do with that. Yeah. yeah. So um, there's one game that I love, and I'm sure a lot of people on the probably probably love it too. Titanfall Two. Oh it's yeah. yeah, very dude. similar. Yeah. Whereas they, where you had that time, or that time travel uh, level, you know, or that mission, that time travel, where you had the device and you can click the device and you, you traverse between the past and the present, and the AI will actually react what you were doing. You can do something in the past, a couple of guys, and then go to the future and it, uh, everything is apocalyptic, let's say, or. And then uh, you go back to the you go back to the past, and they're reacting on what you did. Like, where did this guy go? You know, I thought that was really well done. I don't know if there was a difference between what I'm sure the the medium game is doing something a different scale. Yeah. But, um, I I just didn't know if there was something uh, different between what the medium is doing and what Titanfall Two did in that mission. Yeah, I have no clue. Um, I I do know that that game's got a lot to do with two realms, and it could be completely different maps. I don't know if it's the same map when you transfer between the two i don't i have no clue uh yeah. but from looking at the gameplay it looks like the bitch has a devil baby at some point uh i think <laughs> she's dead i'm not sure what's going on i think she dies or something uh, because if you notice in the trailer uh the guy lets go of her hand and her hand kind of falls you know she's in the hospital bed and you notice that th then she comes back and she's able to, you know, the world's exploding and disintegrating around her when the world shifts like that, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. So I would imagine that it's got something to do with the SSD, the bandwidth that they require to do what they want. Uh, I'm sure if they wanted, they could re-engineer it to work on the current stuff. But that's just not what they want to do. There's a little bit more hype in something that can only be leveraged. Even though it's not based off visuals, it is confirmed gameplay mechanics that, that make it only available on next-gen stuff. Uh, but that's also curiosity towards the PC side of things. What's the lowest common denominator? What, what's the minimum spec on the PC? You can't run it there, right? So maybe it's the CPU bottleneck. 
that yeah. makes it next gen only. I don't know, but it will be interesting to see either way, and I'm probably going to buy it as a result. It worked. Oh, I agree. So what you're basically saying is, dealer, that both consoles will be amazing. I have always said that, yeah. They're both going to be yeah. awesome. There's no game that I can think of. When we had two game developers on the same damn show, they both said there's no game that... There's no reason any game can't hit 60 FPS on, on either of these, which we already knew, but we like to back up the shit we say. And exactly. again, like, uh, there's no reason, there's no bottleneck uh, for any of these systems right now, except for if you are pushing a ton of heavy demanding effects. Like, that's why that demo today was 1440p on that unoptimized engine. And, and like most of us, you're, you'll own both consoles, I'm assuming. They won. Exactly. Preach! It's about the games, motherfuckers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it is about games. You can have I'm a preferred platform. Two. Yes, you can. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, it's about the goddamn day games. Two. Yeah, the games, the games are coming from all parties, <laughs> and uh, that stuff's great. I think when people buy next-gen consoles, though, they want, that, they want that performance as well, and that's why I tell people it's about both. You want oh, that right. That's why I'm buying a Series X over a Lockhart. That's why, you know, uh, that's why I'm... I'm, I prefer the ecosystem, but at the end of the day, like you're gonna upgrade because you want you want that power. You want to see what's new, and the gameplay design is unleashed with the, with this new stuff, and, and visuals in general uh, are gonna be off the charts. So you, you need the games to have all that stuff. So I, I really think it's about both, and uh, they they both I'm sure are gonna have a ton of great stuff coming. It's gonna be beautiful. Lupa, <laughs> thank you, and welcome to the Sporks. <laughs> 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 no, SJ, I did not fall asleep. I was just listening to a uh, dealer because the uh, you know he actually knows what he's talking about, and that's why dealer is here because he does know what the fuck he's talking about. I know some people actually think he's uh, full of shit and everything, but those are the people that want to be dealer and unfortunately can't be dealer. So now those motherfuckers <laughs> need to go get educated. <laughs> those are the guys who are actually. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll call it as it is. Some people just <laughs> yeah. want to be like dealers fakes. It's like really because uh, it wasn't his show the first. But they called this out. They called this. Out. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. Man, those must be the people in that other podcast that's going on right now. <laughs> I, I get no, seriously. <laughs> I, I get I get a kick out of some of the assholes on Twitter. Because I, I see it all the time, and I don't know who pays attention. All I no, gotta all they, say All they is, do is talk about Xbox. Well, no shit. That's the name of the fucking podcast. RDX. Who, who, exactly. look, look, Twitter's taught me one thing. People must have a very unhappy life due to the fact that people can bitch and complain about 30 frames per second when it's like, you realize half the games we've played this gen are 30 frames per second. All I've heard is how great they are. Yeah, but that's why people are bitching about 30 frames per second. Because they're tied, they, that's the, the biggest lord of these new boxes, for one. And secondly, it's one of the principles of the matter. I'm not being tied down to 16 Zen 2 threads and a fucking 2080 Super. No, you did it. You did it for it. You done did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't have dollars to be stuck at 30 <laughs> FPS. I'm for it. tired of it. Like, there's no excuse. And see, there's I know where dealer is coming excuse. from. Because but, but that's zero. the thing, though. What they're talking about, though, is something that was said, and you even talked about it, the uh, Valhalla, where they said, no, no, no it's going to run minimum. But people are like, it's 30 times. It's like, D did you not read the minimum part? Yeah, the problem I mean, with yeah, that was not even just, just that. The it. You know? yeah. the problem with that was what if that? If it's going to run 30. .9 frames, is that, is that acceptable? 59.9. I'll be honest. At the end of the day, as long as Pornhub runs at 4K, I'm happy. <laughs> and, and, and I know where Dealer's coming from, because when you play on PC, because I know what type of PC Dealer has. We have we both have Origin PCs. It is really hard to go, you know, from the FPS that we get on PC to 30 FPS. It's really And then you know the hardware is, is so well suited for gaming. Again, the, the, the box is basically more capable of gaming than my my four or five thousand dollar PC here because it's a, it's a workload based PC for production, but either way, it's still better at gaming. And I know that based off the math from the specs, it's how we nailed all the shit forever ago, right? Right. I know for a fact what it can do, and it's only better because of features like VRS and all this other stuff. The hundred gigs of virtual memory that my PC doesn't have. I mean, it's got so many advantages, and it's really the principle to matter. I'm paying five hundred dollars. Because I want, I want that performance. I'm, I don't want to game on PC. I don't game on PC. But I've been counting the days so I don't. I can get all that PC kind of frame rate and and all that yeah. greatness on a console. And this is a, this is the time for both PS5 and the next Xbox. And Ubisoft say, "Go fuck yourself." 
here's 30 frames. Like, it's not acceptable mm. to me. I don't think it's cool. I, I'm looking for the game, but, but when it comes down to it, there's no reason. Unless one of the reasons I listed earlier, there is no bottleneck here. It makes no sense at all. So, I don't know. Someone, I, who was it? I think a developer said it's DirectX 11. That's why. Then they're showing the fucking demos. They're showing the goddamn benchmarks at 4K. I'm like, nobody fucking said it needs to be 4K. Do you guys understand? Can you think for a second? It doesn't need to be 4K. 1440p, even 1080p, 60 FPS, like high ultra settings, even at 1080p, no problem, even for the PS5. Yes. I mean, I just wish that people just thought a little harder before they went and said it's because it's DirectX 11. That makes no fucking sense. So, Dealer, so people let don't me think. quote myself real quick. Real quick. I'm a, at the end of the day, you're at the mercy of the devs when it comes to the FPS. Yep. Correct? Yeah. 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 Sadly. Yep. Yeah. And unfortunately, if. Well, it, with you know, third party. Well, yeah. yeah it's 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 the in house first party. That shit better third, hit you know, 60. Yeah. It, and see, that's what I'm saying. I think Ubisoft don't want to risk losing the sales that they're going to get from PS4, Xbox One, keeping it 30, and then bumping the new consoles, which I totally agree. If you're willing to spend the money to upgrade, you should reap those benefits. But I don't think they're willing to take that chance because everybody ain't going to buy PS5, Xbox There's Series X, they want. Well, they're just not going to play it because they don't have a PS5. I mean, I don't think that's the case. I mean, I don't think that they're. I don't have a Series X or PS5, and I heard those run it better. So I'm not going to buy the game on the console that I do have. I, I just don't buy it. I mean, the games have been doing crazy frame rates on PC forever. You but know? don't the X and the Pro go above 30? Yeah, they do. That's and that's because, that's, because they're, that's because there's a CPU bottleneck. And that's the thing about these new systems. There is no bottleneck. It's a very, very balanced piece of kit. And you should be able to leverage that in frame rate if you want. I mean, at least give us a fucking option. Some games will hit weird I shit, mean, like 45 to 50 45, frames because second. no matter how quick that because GPU is, you can bottleneck. run that game at 720p. The CPU is not quick enough to hand the GPU the frames, right? Exactly. So you're stuck. No matter what resolution you're at, you can go down 480i. You'll be at 50 frames per second. CPU is not quick enough. Just yep. like an Olympic relay team, man. Doesn't matter how Pretty fast much. the lead runner is, that little fucker at the end can't haul ass. Good point. <laughs> yeah. You, you got true. my fat ass. Yeah, exactly. You waiting on me to get there. It ain't gonna happen. <laughs> That's all it is. But, but <laughs> on the biggest, on the, I don't even know if anybody paid attention to this. Um, on on the the news front of what the fuck are you thinking? Did anybody see this where the culling is trying to come back out? And they want to yeah. charge you per oh, that's match. Just a clusterfuck. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. You talking about that game that's like the PUBG type? Yeah, man. The game. They, they want to charge you for what? They want to charge you per, per match. For what? Sorry. Per, like, after after you first. And if you win a match, you get like a, a multiplayer coin. Okay. Or a so all I gotta say is, who here has played the calling? I, I will say this. I got it because it was in, I think, preview or some shit was free, and I tried. No, like, it and, like, like I'm being dead yeah. serious. Who, who here has played the culling? I have. Because yeah. there's a shitload of us gamers here, and if only one or two of us have played it, it's like, well, there you go. Two of us have played yeah. the game. Now, of you two, how many of you would pay per match? I wouldn't even. No. 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 It ain't and even. So like, who would play by match for any game, honestly? The funny I mean, part. if it was like. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, if it was a really awesome game, I may think about it. If it was like a like a package deal of, hey, here's ten bucks, you get ten thousand matches, or some bullshit. But to me, it's just like, well, who are you marketing this to? I don't know anybody that plays the game. Mm. I didn't know the game was still operating. I've well, heard of it. It, it wasn't. That's it. The game released a, a couple of years ago, and yep. then they took it down because nobody was playing it. They went to re-release it, and then they wanted to sell it back to people that had already paid for it because he did some upgrades. Some so they pulled like it a back. Bunch of oh, yeah, it's Xaviant. Uh, so then they pulled it offline again, and it went away until a couple of days ago when they came out saying they have a payment model. You pay per each round you play. Get out of here. Sounds like, yeah. funny sounds like that one motherfucker that bought that medical company to try to buy to raise the price Probably of the bills. 100 <laughs> Yeah. The it's guy like the, the worst microtransaction Somebody fix H1Z1. Match. 
<laughs> but yeah, I yeah, mean, that, who, uh, who sat down in a room and said, hey, I know how we're going to save this crappy game we made a couple of years back. Let's charge people to play each round. Okay, we're going to okay, make well, pay for it. First of all, at, at the guy that came up date, with that idea, are y'all surprised? he's not the idiot. Look at, uh, the other guys that said, let's do it. Oh, yeah, save slot, <laughs> fine. Yeah, they charging <laughs> you for the save your game. So, I mean, I'm not surprised, but yeah, that, that game was good. That game was horrible, man. I, I played it, it, it was, dude. Demo I, when I, it first I, came out. I played like, like fifteen nope. minutes, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm done." I was yeah, I, twice, and I was like, "Uh, I'm, nah." No, nah, you did I'm not done. hear my voice. <laughs> yeah, I totally could not do it. Well, today was the first time I've actually heard of the game. Really? Oh shit! <laughs> you ain't missing that. You ain't missing uh, that. Well, it's a shit game, so. It's pretty. I only bad. heard about it for the first time like a couple days ago. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll be honest. Uh, this this model they have of taking the game down, changing some stuff, bring it back out, changing some stuff, bring it back out. Sounds like another game they just came out with called Blessed Unleashed, and yet that mm-hmm. game has pretty much died because people are realizing, hey, it's a piece of shit game. That's why it got shut down on PC. It was doing what was this called? With. It was on, on console. The ble- <laughs> Bless <laughs> something. It'll be on PS4 soon, probably. Get the people over there. And then, goodbye. I'm going to wait for the Nintendo Switch version. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) The Switch version? That'd be a hard... Man, hopefully you got freaking a controller for it. I mean, I'm reading chat, and it's rather funny how many people are saying they've never heard of this game, and it's like, they're wanting you to pay per... You can't charge people per round unless it's a uber-fucking game, and even then, I mean, Fortnite doesn't even do that shit. Yeah, PUBG, I was about to PUBG say, and Fortnite and everything is horrible. And right now, they killing it. Yeah. There's no way that anybody would pay, even for PUBG or Fortnite. Nobody would even pay that for Warzone. My kids came to me and said, hey, I want to pay $5 per round. I'd be like, uh, no. <laughs> that. <laughs> well, look, I was, at least your kids will come to you. My son... Oh, man, I have, I got my bank card on my on my Xbox One. Uh oh. His uh. fucking hey, look, Roblox. He got locked out of his Roblox account. So he said, Dad, can I play on yours? Sure, son. So that's why if you ever see Roblox on my drunk, it's my son. Uh huh. Right. Go son, ahead, yeah. boy. Do your thing. So, <laughs> He's like, I sure will. So check, check this out, man. I'm I'm home chilling. My wife calls me. She said, what have you been buying off Microsoft? I can't buy Pixel right now. I'm like, huh? I just bought Mortal Kombat. My son, oh. over the course of three days, charged up $360. <laughs> man. So, so, Hollywood, I just have one question. How well does your son sit right now? Oh, this was this was last year. Oh, he like, don't got no legs no more. He, you know. But, yeah, I, 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 I don't... I haven't beat him in a long time, but I had to wear his little ass out on that one. Because it was so funny. <laughs> if I would have caught it like 30 minutes earlier, it would have been $100 less, but he just got bold. He went from like $10, said, $20. Oh, I mean, it's crazy. crazy. I mean, you got to see check- where the cutoff is, you know? Man, because we well, didn't went catch through. it. Let's try the next one. Let's try the next one. Let's try $300 it's like to 30 million. slots. No, his last one was $250 fucking Robux. Okay, so- so the yeah, his Roblox, Roblox character was pimped out. Yeah, <laughs> fucking yeah. Roblox, Roblox developers like, fuck yeah, Billy, go, keep going. They were getting paid <laughs> off me that day. <laughs> but I mean, I'm yeah, just I, saying, it's <laughs> it's terrible, man. I'm not surprised. They, and they charge him for like, I saw the shit he was buying. Goku Super Saiyan hair. I'm like, oh, bro. Shit. <laughs> Damn. Goku Super it's Saiyan. It's always the Goku Super Saiyan hair. Fuck. Hey, get, this is what he told okay, me. He said, all, well, you Roblox mommy make good like money, Minecraft. you can replace it. That's all. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Isn't there a thing on the consoles though, where you got to use a credit card or something? You can actually put in like a password lock, so you actually have to put in a code. That's my fault. You can just, uh, fucking go ahead and just press buttons. I think you can. But it's my it's my Xbox though, uh, noob. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna buy no Robux, but I let them, I forgot and I let them so, play on mine. So we when didn't you found out, it. you beat your kids' was, ass, and then your wife oh, came and beat them. your ass. Because you oh, did yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to fight because she thought I was doing it. I'm like, no, I just bought Mortal Kombat. Honey, <laughs> why'd you buy this Roblox? What you doing? Trying to pick up another girl? <laughs> just be glad he never got into freaking Rent of Auto. No, 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 no shark cards oh, up. Dude, my, my, yeah, kids, my, son, my kids were playing that. They're like, Dad, it's 60% off. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care if it's 90% off. 
No. Come home while the strippers in the club are pimped out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got everybody. Reminds me of that time Reddit caught Major Nelson leaving the uh, the strip club and everybody took pictures. Did you, did you guys see that on uh, Grant that photo? Uh-oh. Oh, it was like shit. it was like Major Nelson. It was like uh, leaving the strip club. Everybody took pictures and shit. And he's like, "Relax, guys." It was just when I switched characters, that character was in the strip club. It was hilarious. Okay, first no, of all, he, he, the, look, the he character was in the strip club. So I <laughs> he mean, spent that Xbox money. <laughs> well, that's the reason doesn't the man Roblox... has the white glove, right? Exactly. <laughs> Roblox does the open source shit, doesn't it? <laughs> like it lets players create games, right? Hey, damn. Uh, I don't know. Which game? I don't know. My, my kid plays some shit like straight right, up like kid. fucking uh-huh. horror games. Yeah, uh huh. On that shit. Ro- I'm gonna tell you, Roblox though, you gotta be careful, man. I walked by his room one day for um, he was banned, and he was watching me say, "Hey, let's go murder people, guys." I'm like, "I'm <laughs> 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 going they done recreate it, Grand Theft Auto in this game." Roblox, man. Roblox, what the fuck? Ro- Damn, Roblox, Roblox is having friends to play that. Let's go murder people, okay? They said, "Let's go murder some people, guys." I'm like. So I'm gonna beat up. down your block ass house. God damn it. He, he running over <laughs> motherfuckers with cars and shit in Roblox. See, that Yo, just proves that really video games make it, young buddy. kids violent. Kids should not be playing video games. Y'all need a PlayStation, not a PlayStation, damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that shit is crazy, man. I really try to keep the fun. caffeine buzz to a minimum. It's really hard to do. I go drink it. <laughs> <into the cup. laughs> just drink a Modelo. That's what I'm doing now. I I'm don't, drink, I don't <laughs> drink alcohol, dude. Not at all. I'm on my fourth one. Fifth one. <laughs> well, fourth. another good piece of gaming news, if anybody saw it. Uh, the Diablo 2 remaster supposedly coming sometime this year. Oh, where's Bomber at? Bomber had to have his finger removed from something, didn't he? Uh, I mean... I, 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 okay, so... A very serious surgery. I love Diablo 2. <laughs> I sunk a shitload of hours into that game. But I'm getting tired of the remasters. Yeah. I know, that's but, what it's, I was the, about but to say. it's Diablo. I mean, it's see, see, yeah, see, that's where I'm at, William. I'm like, I hate, I hate re- remasters, but I guess that's what they're doing. Is hey, you may hate this remaster, you may hate, you may hate this remaster, but we're gonna find a remaster that you're gonna buy. And then sure enough, it's like Diablo two, and it's like, oh. Well, hell, they just announced a Mafia remaster too. Uh, who gives a shit about Mafia that? Mafia ain't um, Mass Effect getting the remastered. So it's that's rumored. Still rumored yep. but yeah, that's if it is, coming. day one for me. I love that game. Uh, I can't get into Mass Effect. I don't know why. Leo just spends a lot of time with his companions. Just like Gears Tactics right now, man. I love Gears, and I just... I, I'm I don't know why that I can Tactics. <laughs> I've got it installed. I have not played it yet because I have so many games that I need to play and want to play. Will me, you have half the internet. Actually, installed. Tactics might make me like do. Gears of War. Who knows? And I mean, matter of fact, not a, remakes. That's not a joke. Like, We're, and you know the best part? And it's like I have a hundred terabytes. What do you need that for? And you know I'm the best part? <laughs> the, the best oh, part shit. is the the cool thing about doing podcast. If you get a couple of followers here and there. Uh, people actually start to follow you, and they throw game codes at you. Because uh, I woke up this morning to a free game, and the only thing that was asking me is that I stream it. I'm like, hell we yeah, we can stream that game fun. all day, man. <laughs> hell yeah, we'll do it. We'll put that shit in there, son, and we'll get that thing on the line. And hell yeah, we're gonna stream the fuck out of it. Why? Because it was free. You was, will be streaming stream on showing. Facebook gaming. <laughs> What's Facebook. that? Facebook game? You gonna stream it out there? I I don't know, dude. I've got this love hate relationship with Facebook. I really. Do. I just post my food on Facebook when I cook. Uh, but, uh, Zuckerberg. What? Zuckerberg does not like Wilmy Hood at all. Well, I mean, he's removed oh, my page shit. twice. So, and now I'm just getting back to like twelve thousand followers. So yeah, Zucker can kiss my ass. I don't really care well, for damn. Facebook. Zuckerberg. Yeah, Zuckerberg. Yeah. Just wants to be your friend. He can suck a bag of dicks is what he can do. No, they're paying yeah. a lot of money to moderators right now. <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah, I know they about, are, dude. He's about, to, he's about to take down your page again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. I'll probably log on to Facebook sometime tomorrow to post something to Wilmy Hood and boop, you're banned. God damn it. 
Like, damn it, I should have told him suck the bag of dicks. Maybe just one. <laughs> for the whole bag. Like, Facebook Kitty. truly doesn't like your memes, dude. No, Facebook does not like. I'd say, I've, I've said it. That man. is not Facebook friendly. Uh, no, no, Facebook no, does not no, like Wilmy Hood at all. But, My wife likes your memes because she's like, "Hey, did you see Wilmy post this?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, I've, I've already seen it." <laughs> <laughs> like, the fact that you follow my friend just for his memes kind of worries me a little bit. It's like, <laughs> you know, he does other stuff, right? No, I just like this. Oh, okay. Actually, Mark that's, Zuckerberg that's, is what happens when you smash a ball sack into the face of Justin Timberlake. That's pretty much all I do on <laughs> Facebook is just Wilmy Hood. I don't even. I, we got a gaming group on there, and I rarely ever even post anything there, sadly. <clears throat> so, but next up, and this will be right up Dealer's Alley because he can explain this to all of us that have no fucking clue what it means. You still there, Dealer? I he's muted. muted. Dealer. Dealer. Dealer Gaming, you are wanted in the assembly hall. Psst. Hey, Dealer, you still there? He's got he's got important people shit to do. <laughs> yeah. Look, you just found if out you can download you come in here and break it down, you need to leave it to me, and I will try to explain it as best as I can. Okay. Like, wait, 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 wait. All right, you can I do can that. We're gonna make us some French fried up. taters at the same time. All right. <laughs> Xbox Series X will keep file sizes down to save SSD. The SSD word. The SSD I SSD space. was PlayStation. <laughs> and it says dedicated hardware for decompression and installation that prioritizes necessary files will help the Xbox Series X save space on the SSD. So what are your thoughts so, on this? That's on the external, right? That's the, the, the card drive. in general. Yes. <laughs> the, the memory SSD. card. <laughs> yeah, the memory card. That's it. Yeah. Old school. Plug into the front. Save your games. I mean, I, obviously, if they're worried about this, then they're worried about the fact that it, the games possibly could be really fucking huge. Yeah, so, okay, that's why, too. Well, they're getting bigger and bigger all the time. Yeah, I mean, I can't remember who said it, but somebody had talked about the fact that, you know, we'll probably just be streaming the game somewhat, and you know what, that's fine. Maybe this is maybe this is going down the stage to where we can actually see like what Amazon and uh, Stadia are eventually going to do, and maybe even Xbox that eventually will be more cloud-like, or instead of installing games, you're just going to be streaming them. My assumption is that that they're trying to bake in xCloud with the Xbox is to where if you purchase a game, you can automatically just start playing it while it downloads in the background. See, that'd be nice. It's it's going to be some kind of compression technique that they're talking about. It's 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 going to be able to compress it and unpack it <laughs> way quicker. Yeah, I don't know if it's called velocity or not. How many That's beers are you called. in there, Hus, buddy? Um, <laughs> I'm actually only a couple in. Oh, okay. So that's five. Okay, gotcha. Exactly. <laughs> we, we've learned not to five trust your counting whatsoever because you're like, I've got two. And we're you like, guys can see? hear the... The, every time I open that shit, that's loud as fuck. Yeah, but see, we've also realized counting. you pre-open, so we'll see the glass half full, and then the next time we see it, three quarters full. So we're like, he's had beers open. He's just I not just interviewed us. Graphic God. I did I did drink like two beers while I was doing that. I ain't gonna lie, I snuck away and did two quick shots to the box. I'm sorry. <laughs> shot. So I uh, guess Dealer has drink. left the building, maybe? At least for now. Yeah. 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 I had to meet myself. I went to uh, go do something, and I drilled my shin in the edge of my bed and about had a heart attack. Wow. How, do you, how, do you, you. how do you hit your leg and have a heart attack? That's fucked up, dude. That's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, depending on how high you hit your leg up, it could be your fucking nutsack. I mean, Same way you get kicked in the nuts and have a brain hemorrhage. <laughs> Yep, yeah, but no, yeah, oh, I, I, I drilled my shin on the edge of my bed frame. Well, <laughs> I thought, since uh, Mr. Dealer isn't here to give us his vast wisdom and, you know, increased knowledge on the SSDs and STDs and all that other good shit that goes with the S&Ds, um, let's talk about something fun and entertaining because I know I'm looking forward to this. Fable 4. How did you know? Well, it's, it, dude, it is totally like I put all this shit in Discord and you fucking read it. That is amazing. I know. <laughs> I did my job this week. It's Holy shit. Uh-huh. You are the, you, don't, don't, no, uh, don't kick me out. 
No matter what Bobber I, says I'm about you, Fort, you. you are fucking amazing. Are you talking so to your wife, Hollywood? Don't kick me out. Like, did she find the credit card bill again? <laughs> no, I said no. I'm saying, don't y'all kick me out because uh, I'm not a big fan of Fable. Man. Never played it. Well, yeah, it's it's entirely different. <laughs> so, if it's different, I, just ran in. I give them a try. <laughs> Fable Four is going to be there now. This is what the rumors are. It will be a holiday 2020 release. Hmm. What this year? See, I read That's, that, but I thought I had read somewhere like a week ago that it was talking but, like twenty one, twenty two. But but Definitely, like I yeah. said, take that with a grain of salt because mm. we have not. You know, Microsoft still hasn't confirmed this game yet. <clears throat> I mean, it's the worst kept secret in the gaming industry, even though some people still say it doesn't exist. Oh, you it know. really is. Like like the the person that was supposed to keep this under wraps. Secret was supposed to be fired. Like, it's like, so don't tell anybody, okay, Bob? I won't tell nobody. Hey, Jim, did you hear about it? Yeah. Well, but, uh, remember they said they won't go cram a bunch of big games all in one release date. So if it's coming out this year, that means you're going to have Halo. Well, mind you, they they said it could. So Yeah, yeah be- I, would, I would take it with a grain of salt, but I'm really... Mind you, like, uh, yeah. it was less than a week ago they said that uh, when they showed all the just pictures no video of fable 4 and it was just this could be fable 4 they said that even if it is you're not going to see it till 2021 or 2022 yeah. so that's really recently that um phil was saying something that they wanted their target was to try to have a major release like every four months or something like that like every quarter yep. was it every a major release or was it just to have some games well hell i think the I, official I one is halo so far that they've talked about yeah, the big one. I think yeah. I don't think they want to cramp Halo right now because, I mean, I like Halo Five, but let's face it, Halo Five is has a love hate relationship with uh, the gaming uh, media or whatever. And for Infinite to be room with what the five hundred million dollar budget or whatever, this, that, and the third, I don't think they will drop another big game like Fable, either right before or right after it, because that's gonna kind of. One of them gonna get snuffed out. That's like what Sony's going through right with the Last it. of Us, and then it goes to Tsushima. Ah, they okay. need to let Last of Us date for a little bit before they release. But they doing the mud apart. I don't think that's good. I don't know. See, all they need is thirty hours after Assassin or uh, the Last of Us drops. That's all they need. It's thirty out, thirty hours afterwards. Drop it. Uh, I'm thirty I'm hours. Not. I, I don't like know. Us, so I don't know anybody. I don't know Someone's anybody. Someone's never hates, played The Last of Us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anybody hates PlayStation more than Obi. Yeah, yeah he sure. really does. Oh man. shit! You guys are a bunch of fuckers. The Last of Us is a good game. Man. <laughs> Obi's a little fuck boy. Good, oh, game. good games because it has a Sony logo on it. I got an idea. Oh, shit. For Obi's Damn, dealer year, is calling Obi out. out. Yeah, I hang out with Obi every fucking day. I mean, he's a he's a. Oh, I know. He's a fuck I say this. He's a fuck boy. I'm, I didn't play The Last of Us until it came out on PS4. I just, I when, don't uh, know why. When, when dealer was saying people are uh, talking shit about the whole 1440p thing, 30 FPS, that was that was to me. <laughs> in the party chat. No, there's a, lot, there's a lot of people, but yeah, I did have to explain to Obi that, yeah, they're showing off. Like, they're like, look how many triangles are in the, on every single statue in this room. Brilliant. Even though you couldn't Brilliant. see a quarter of them, they still did all that to kind of show off. Like, there's zero optimization there. So, like, people talking shit on it, like, it's a tech demo. How many tech de- demos you seen run at fucking 60 FPS? Not many. Like, it, it's it's the way it is for a reason. It was it was impressive. If Xbox would have shown this, all the people would not be saying shit right now. They would have got shit at all. We did, we did have that discussion of Xbox would have showed this. Sony guys can't even read. I don't give a fuck what they shit on. I'm talking about Xbox guys. <laughs> like, oh, no. I would have enjoyed that, 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 that type of gameplay. Read. But we all know we, especially y'all. Y'all been doing this a lot longer than me. It's like they they still have found some negative, something negative in it. But some, yeah, they still have done stuff like that. Everybody should be renamed always... Nancy so they can be negative Nancy because there's just some people that just love negative. living in that world, and it's like oh, I don't, I don't oh, yeah, get it. Dude. I don't, I don't, I don't get how you can live that way. I would, uh, yeah. yeah yep. it, Dealer, it dealer's nice back. Fun. Dealer. What do you think Dealer's about that back. compression shit with back the again. file sizes on the SSD the for what? the Series X? 
The what stuff? The Xbox Series X topic on keeping file sizes down. The, de- the dedicated hardware. The compression is, shit. Yeah, it's going to compress and do the installation on the SSD. That's not for file sizes. That's um, You're talking about the compression block. Um, yeah. That's actually to compress and accelerate data transfer so they can use that 100 gigs of virtual memory. The thing that will actually keep file sizes down, and I covered this in a video, it's uh, machine learning. So they they actually confirmed they have more than one studio. It's AI. Each. It's uh well it's kind of basically the way they explained it is that they've got a studio working with this direct ML right now, and they can the biggest chunk of one of the biggest chunks of data that you can download when you when you download a game are the texture files. And they said with direct ML machine learning, you it can actually scale low resolution, super compact, small file size resolution uh, textures to basically ultra 4k without actually having to download them uh because the machine learning can basically take a cookie cutter texture and and apply x y and z and and scale it up in real time with all the bandwidth in the box and that's the thing that will actually save you on on file sizes but the compression block is for that one 100 gig virtual memory pool that's on the ssd which is actually why you have to have games installed directly on those ssds if they are patched for Series X, because that memory pool, the virtual one, is actually uh, part of the development for the for the platform. They want to make that a thing because RAM is too expensive. It's the one thing they couldn't really take a next gen leap on. So they said, "Fuck it, we got to make a way to uh, you know, so you can actually access all these assets in real time on the pool and the SSD." And that's what they're doing there. So this file size shit's kind of like a, it's basically it's just a little, an upscaling a technique. Out. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a ways out from what I can tell the file size thing with the machine learning, but it will definitely be, it'll definitely help um, and add to that that they are doing, what is that called? Intelligent delivery or some shit where they, where they don't delivery? make you download. Uh, smart delivery? Well, smart yeah, delivery is a little different, but there's, there's a different one. The uh, velocity? It's, it's a, no, motherfuckers. I'm saying <laughs> <it's a laughs> download yes. audio you can't understand, basically. Another big part of the download size is all the languages you don't speak. So, like Assassin's Creed Origins, when you boot it up, it downloads natively the one that the region you're in, but all of like the Spanish and the, all these different languages that would normally traditionally be in the package, those are optional downloads. That's like smart ways that they are reducing the amount of stuff that you're downloading. And audio is a big one too. So, I mean, yeah, they're they're kind of working on that. But long story short, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get used to file sizes kind of going up. But they are trying to fight back against that. So they're going to say, if you want the English version, download this one. If you want the... It'll, it should version. do it automatically based on region. <laughs> yeah, it won't Damn bother it. downloading stuff you don't need. My luck, so I'm going to download it only to so find out it's the UK version. It, I'm going to hear, hey, mate. Uh, you son you of a bitch. Where you at, kind of like when you're playing on, uh, let's say, the Xbox Series S. You'll get that game versus I got the same game and I play it on my One X. It's yeah, have all the like, bells like, and damn. whistles on the One X version. Is it like going to automatically read it? Because I swear, I, man, I ain't got time for this stuff, man. That's why I don't play on that computer, bro. I tried to adjust the slide of gears tactics, and I looked at that shit. I'm like, I Look, you don't play on the computer because all the viruses from the porn you play. <laughs> I don't look at porn on my computer. Spent too much damn money on that motherfucker. <laughs> Hell and, no. Well, thank you, dealer, for clarifying that, sir. I like turtles. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. That is amazing. I, I like grapes. Mm. But anyway, oh, Stubbs. Oh, see, hi. Great. hi. How you doing, brother? Hey. Right. We've got a we've got one, and I'm going to let you start out with it, because you said you can't get a word in edgewise, because I know we Americans do. We love to talk and talk and talk and talk. We talk so fast, you can be barely you understand. Cut people time, right? off. So, oh, damn, we're going to go, we're going to start this topic out with you, sir. Okay. Yeah. Analysts are claiming, <laughs> analysts are claiming at Forbes, the Xbox Series uh, X price will be much lower than people think. What do you think, Stubbs? Because you are people. That's true. And we, and we care. The so English are people. Hey, hey, hey. Your own <laughs> name is what, not Stubbs. What when say you, Stubbs? Well, when the Xbox One launched in England, we paid four hundred pounds more than America. So Yikes. I'm wondering, you see, and and all Microsoft's response was, oh, it's due to tax, etc. They, they, they worked it out, and it wasn't. 
it was just, just written off basically. And I think you're looking at five hundred pounds for the Xbox Series X in Britain, if not five fifty. Five hundred. I don't think you're looking at four hundred or four fifty. So you got ripped off. Eight hundred dollars. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah they, they, they ripped us off basically, like like they do in Canada. That's uh, it, yeah, that's true. Well, I know Conversion Noof tells us all fine. the time. Noof tells us all the time, shit's ex- like totally old. crazy expensive yeah. in Canada. The game's the try buying that shit in South America. Yeah. That shit's expensive. I think the worst place yeah, is Australia. Yeah, that's what I say. The Xbox was like seven hundred bucks down crazy, in, yeah. in Brazil. Yeah, in Brazil, uh, yeah. All yeah, I gotta say is the Philippines yeah. are funny when uh, Will me sent a game to somebody. I would be surprised if it was like four hundred though. I mean, I mean, I'll be honest. Conversion rate suck. Shipping sucks. So you gotta play. You gotta pay for all that. Then taxes and everything else. Taxes, and it does yeah. suck. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, the Xbox One X is like three seventy nine here. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, some people want to complain about taxes, but it's like you know, some places only eight percent tax. Some places, yeah. it's a whole lot more tax than that. Do we have tax and VAT? We have like more than you guys don't pay VAT, do you? No, well, I don't even know what that so is. Do your taxes know. have tax? Yeah, they love to that's off. fucked Damn. up, dude. Damn, dude, so, that's terrible. Since you play, since I just you pay taxes, tax for two ninety nine. We're now gonna need you to pay more taxes. <laughs> Damn, and that all shit, all that shit started with a tea party. <laughs> shit. <laughs> now I get it. <laughs> We're still getting back at you, damn Reds. <laughs> now I get it. I didn't understand until Stubbs just said that. I had no idea that you guys had to pay that many taxes on everything. Holy shit. Yeah. Damn. So, y'all, so you really think that Series X is going to be cheaper? That's, no. what, the PS5. that's what Forbes is claiming. What say you, Mr. Dealer? There's no Forbes. way. There's no way. Uh, you remember these guys, um, <laughs> these guys at Forbes, most of them don't play games, and they definitely don't know anything about the fucking hardware. That's um, true. And, and I, I kind of I got to give a shout-out to Tom Warren. He's like, uh, yeah, I got nothing against the guy. I just thought it was funny. Uh, he said, why do people expect to see next-generation experiences at a next-generation gameplay reveal? It takes time for these developers to get to learn the hardware. It's like, okay, so again, we saw this shit. We saw Rise Center. People have to understand. We came from cell architecture and power PC completely custom fucking architectures, machine languages that were in use nowhere else to x86 PC machine language in 2013 for the first time. Meaning we don't have to change up the architectures anymore. It's all x86, right? It all comes down from PC. Easier than ever. It's easier than ever to develop for. It's easier than ever to code for and to port and to code and just the speed of things. All of it works pretty similarly and i, I kind of was just blown away because in 2013 we saw kill zone we saw rise on a Rome, we saw deep down we saw even drive club back then take yourselves back and remember how impressed you were because there were several impressive moments and then we get we get all this fucking power in series x and we shouldn't expect to see a fucking jaw-dropping next-gen moment it's just damage control to me because I understand how much power this really is, like many of you do, right? And I'm just blown away by this shit. Like, you can't fucking show me something that drops my, my jaw. I'm not laughing at you, dude. I'm laughing at chat, dude. Oh, my God, dude. Like, I, I'm laughing at the at the situation here. So, again, uh, Forbes, those guys, I don't know. Again, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I wouldn't really pay too much mind. Uh, I'm pretty sure Series X is 500 bucks, and people got to remember, and and I swear to God, people have really got to start thinking more because I get tired of explaining this shit. They have less of an incentive to take a loss than ever now. You can play their mm-hmm. games on a fucking cell phone. You can play it yep. on PC. You can play it on an Xbox One S. You're going to be able to play it on Lockhart. Why are they going to take a loss on a Series X like that? Lockhart should come in at 3, Series X at 5. There is no reason for them to take a loss. You can play all their shit on PC. They don't care. They don't, you know, they make their money off the games, not the hardware. Exactly. Pass, so again, yep. uh, if you can just download an app, probably on your TV soon, if they work out a deal with a manufacturer for X Cloud, you know, and, and you five hundred, I'm sold. That's the same. Yeah, I mean, it, the, it should be five hundred dollars again. You know, well, I mean, yeah. I've talked to people behind the scenes that basically tell me we're not going to mess up on price, we're not going to do X, Y, and Z, right? So I take that as it's going to be five hundred bucks. You're lucky to get it for five hundred bucks, and if it comes mm-hmm. at a four, that is a last minute kind of okay. Fuck it, we're going to eat the. We're really going to surprise people just for the 
it's more for the PR than anything at that point. It's yeah. not because they feel like they need to do this. Again, yeah. they have a lot of card is that underhand and that uppercut anyway. And what's the best selling console on Black Friday? It's the all digital, the cheapest one. The price is most important to the consumer. Most people are casuals. Both of them will be awesome, right? Mm-hmm. The only thing I've ever said, and mind you, I am not, I don't know anybody anywhere, I honestly think they're waiting for PlayStation to drop their price and then them come right behind and go, ding, hello. I mean, PlayStation, if PlayStation comes in at 5, I'll be fucking shocked. Think they'll because come in that, at 4 or such a, or no? no, they'll do 4, or if they have to, for some reason, they'll do 5, but at the end of the day, there's such a performance delta there. Again, like, this is a lot. Uh, Do you think with the earning performance. reports yesterday that came out that that's oh, really going, the case? Uh, uh, since hold, hold on, let, hold on. That, 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 don't touch that yet. Yeah, yeah. Why <laughs> are you fucking shit up, Obi? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get into that later. And by the way, J Mo, <laughs> thank you for the one ninety nine super chat, sir. Someone get dealer some toenails. Calm him down. Rem- <laughs> remember, uh, yeah. Remember that uh, too. I mean, they're gonna fo- they're gonna shift their focus towards. Uh, services and all kinds of other stuff as well, and they're they're sending the games to more more platforms. You guys got to keep that in mind. So they're going to generate more revenue. Uh, they're they're pretty healthy right now overall. They're the PlayStation Five thing. There's a number of reasons they've been kind of caught off guard with this. They're they're limited by their hardware because of hardware back and pat. They had to, that's how we knew they would have 36 EU. We talked about this in a video months before they confirmed this shit. We knew we knew that they clocked it that high because they kind of had to, and we don't know how. Stable that's going to be, and how many developers will run a game at 10.2 teraflops, or if they need more CPU overhead, they'll have to downclock it to get the juice to the CPU. So they might have 9.5 teraflops. There's so many variables, right? And not to mention the heat output and and how how loud the damn things are going to be. We heard developers complain about how loud the dev kits are. I mean, 2200 megahertz is insane, and that's on a console. So I mean, it, it is impressive. But none of this really screams five hundred dollars for this PS5. The SSD is is very expensive, though. I'll say that. Like that's one of the biggest cost points in the, in the system, and uh, I feel like they just overinvested there. I really do. So uh, because as we covered with the two developers on our show, both of them said the same shit. We already said it ourselves. If that SSD is used on a game that is anywhere but only PS5, and keep in mind they're sending more stuff to PC, then it's not going to get leveraged. The gameplay design cannot change around that SSD because it is running on someone's mechanical or sated powered SSD or even a, a pretty decent 970 Pro, which isn't even close to as quick as PSI's SSD. Then you just can't get the same gameplay design bench, uh, uh, you know, requirements out of it because it's running on a different platform somewhere, right? So it's kind of a weird thing. I was just going to see, I was just going to pick you back off what you said. Um, Optimus Cole mentioned this one time, and I, I try to talk to him about it on Twitter. Um, he says that the developers, uh, when they design something, they lock you know how much you can see based on how fast you can turn the camera. You know what I mean? And uh, so for the PS5, mm. it's kind of exactly what Dealer just said. That SSD can achieve. You can spin that camera, let's say at one second, right? But the lowest Today's common denominator, off. right? At right. The end. Is the perfect example when Chief yes. loses a level like that. That is that SSD streaming those assets in that world in super quick, so she can move through there quicker. A lesser capable hard drive or really flash solution would not move nearly that quick, or you know whatever. We don't know if that was the fastest that that SSD could do. It didn't look like it, so I feel like that would be possible, no problem on a Series X even. But I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that one. I'm just saying that on Series X, if they had the same scenario. You'd be moving a little bit slower. That's pretty much the difference there. But again, you know, there are a ton of variables there. I don't know if the compression block when they double that that kind of bandwidth would do a lot there, or if that was using PS5's compression as well. There are a lot of unanswered questions there. But that very end of that demo where she flies at a level, that's because of the SSD and the CPU that can keep up now. Oh, they wouldn't have to design in the beginning to make those calculations. That's something that can be um modified and revised on the fly or it might be able to get yeah, the visual yeah. console i would imagine that you'd be able to slow down how fast she flies through the world for maybe a less capable ssd gotcha, yeah, yeah. But, but that's that just my guess i don't think that <clears throat> the turning thing is a good example because 
Um, you can adjust all your sensitivity and make yourself essentially turn like lightning fast. In some games, you you can't, or like uh, like the Spider Man demo a long time ago, right? And the SSD, right? They were flying through the world so fast. It's like you could never play a game that fast, but they're just showing you what what could happen. And yeah. I, I'm just saying, when it comes to that, uh, or a fucking frame rate, or a visual fidelity, I would choose either of those 100 percent of the time. But again. Gameplay design, it just depends on what developers do. But, you know, only that stuff would only work on only a PS5 5 gigabyte per second SSD. If it's a third party game that runs on PC or anything else, it couldn't use it because the lowest common denominator does not meet that spec. Right, right. Yeah. I would totally keep my crappy loading times and get 4K 60. I mean, you're still going to get really good loading times for sure. Well, yeah. But if I had to trade, Mm-hmm. Like if I had to choose, I would choose the shit loading times <laughs> and get my 4K 60 all day. Yeah. Yeah, but having a fast SSD is not going to change that. No. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, not like they're saying it's going to. Like some people are so <laughs> so ignorant when it comes to all of it. I, I'm I just going to leave it at that. Yeah, they think the SSD is like going to give you more <laughs> performance, right? Like in a game. It's so dumb. Like whether or not I have my game shit. installed on my 970 Pro or my 2 terabyte Western Digital Black, I get the same frame rates. And really, yeah. uh, performance gains can only re- really be found if you are de- designing a game from the very ground up and you, re- you redesign the whole pipeline of how things can, can work like that. I would imagine you pick up a little bit, but when it comes down to it, the, the gulf between the two boxes, are, it's big. Uh, and uh, again, anything developers have ever said about the performance difference, they they not really said too much. They said, well, I like developing for one over the other, or I like, you know, this over that, or the SSD is really cool. I think it could change things, but as we just talked about, it would only change things on, on games that only ever run on that one SSD. Um, the, any kind of performance stuff we heard from developers is, it's a big difference, or the ray tracing would be a lot better on the Series X. Um, you know, so I'd rather take that performance as well, right? And it, it's easily presumed that any of these developers that say they prefer to develop for this console or this console are just familiar with developing with that console's past. Like, that's just my thoughts. And and maybe maybe it's a little different enough to where one person prefers one or the other, but I feel like developing for one or the other hasn't probably drastically changed a lot as far as like the interface and and the tools they have to work with on them. Uh, They're going to evolve. Yeah. But preferring one over the other, I I just, I don't see maybe they're fanboys. Maybe. (laughs) It's okay to prefer one or the other, but if you can't get props, you know, and people do it on both sides. We're seeing it today with the goddamn tech demo. If Xbox had shown that off on Thursday as part of their thing, nobody would be opening their fucking mouth. That's, that's a good point. What uh, Keeley tweeted afterwards. If, if, if you don't see you know, his preference on there, it was just like next gen PS5. That's what the next, that's where, that's what it should look like. Something like that. I'm paraphrasing. Oh, yeah. I mean, they, they, they debuted it on his show. He's going to do, yeah, a little you know, for yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm surprised we didn't see Kojima running in the background naked or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he, he told him stay in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> you can come out now. <laughs> But yeah, they uh that, that that tech demo was cool, but like I said, I, I mean I ain't a tech guy. The same stuff they criticize the games like whatever. That tech demo and everybody praised high. I would say I don't get I don't even pay attention. Like, oh swipe like keep going. Uh I'm just ready to see the actual real straight up. I think the most disappointing part, I mean, it's a phenomenal tech demo. It looked fantastic. Yeah, I, I, mean, me, yeah. I mean, my eyeballs were like, ooh, yeah, you got my attention. The biggest disappointment was finding out it wasn't an actual like game that's coming okay. out. Like, it's too bad Epic didn't say, well, yeah, this game is coming out here in the future because it actually looked interesting, like a cross between Tomb Raider and Horizon Zero Dawn. You know, um, 
and then and then all that flying stuff. By the way, I forgot to tell everybody that apparently they said that the reason that girl was flying through that part of the the demonstration because that was from the fans blowing out of the PS5. <laughs> 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 I, I thought that tech demo was impressive too. I, I, I really like what I saw. Dude, it looked it looked cool. It looked, it awesome. looked cool, but at the end of the day, Anthem. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh my god! Anthem has forever ruined any demo I ever see from now on. It's I no longer trust anybody. I have to see it. <laughs> I mean, you you kind of put all your you're not wrong. eggs in one horrible basket that was on fire and had holes in it. I mean, come on. <laughs> You chose hey. the EA. I'm, I'm. All of it hinges on you, EA, and a clearly dead Bioware. EA breaks everything they touch. I mean, that Anthem demo was almost exactly like the game, and there's not shit to do in it. They was, it, it, they showed you the game with that little tech demo. You should be very impressed and happy. It was very yeah. indicative. You can do the same thing, <laughs> yeah, but you watch that constantly. constantly. You play the game for about two hours, and watch that demo, and then the game is nothing like it. No. Thank you, uh, th thank you, thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh, for the one ninety nine super chat. Josh says SSD, <laughs> where it's all at. I was wondering where that little fuck boy Wilmy was. How's your ears, fuckers? Yeah, Hollywood, I keep having to turn myself up for Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood's uh, really low there. No, are you back in your kid's bedroom, making sure he's not running up the Roblox account there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can barely hear you. It's just getting quieter and quieter. Yeah, <laughs> Hollywood, you're quiet, bro. <laughs> Invader, oh, what is man. going on, dude? I gotta, you're like, I gotta hit the bed a little bit, man. I gotta get up two thirty in the morning because, because uh, this world epidemic, man, they done <laughs> change my work schedule around. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. never fun. You also gotta pick up hours to pay for that uh, Roblox account you got. <laughs> hey, that ain't me, man. That's my key. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> SSD's nuts. What's up with our like visitor that. we got in chat? All right, now Invader. Let's uh, let's get into what Obi started to dive into a second ago. Uh, I don't know how to take this news. This came from Reuters. Let's see what everybody's thoughts are. Sony reported a 57% drop in fourth quarter operating profit, but refrained from providing an outlook for the current year due to the uncertainty related to the coronavirus outbreak. So, what are your I thoughts? Uh oh. I uh, don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> I think that they need profit right now. And I mean, so everyone's kind of, you know, not I doing mean, as it, good it, as they were. Yeah, right? Same yeah. everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it all comes no. down to no, no consoles are selling. Points. They know the PS5 is yeah. coming. Like, what? I don't know. Yeah, no one knows it's going to happen due to the fact that nobody knows exactly what is happening. I mean, it was announced today that there's a, there's a couple countries going back into lockdown after coming out. So, with okay. that happening, no one knows what's going to happen with the global economy and shit like that, mm -hmm. which. It sucks, but I mean, you can't Third say, "Hey, our tipsy. first quarter uh, sales are going to be good because of this and this one." It's like, well, uh, nobody can make it to the store because it's He's fucking like, closed. We just got some stimulus action. We's about to sell yeah. some stuff. <laughs> yeah. Well, they need a pre-order bonus with some masks. <laughs> man, they were smart. Know, they were just released the console now, and people would have bought that stimulus check. One of the couple of months before the pandemic happened, they they had already predicted that they're stuff will start hitting a decline. Remember they said they would do less game and all this. So they kinda of predicted, but like I say, next gen comes. That's what Yo, it's on. not just me. Like can anybody else not hear him? Yeah, I, he's really low I, still. I, 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 well. hear him. He he he's said he's on. country, so I'm guessing he's outside pissing while he's talking to us, so Oh shit. Hopefully my mic's better. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him the truth, Cray. Well, it's all the booze, brother. No, no, I'm doing. You know, I do my shit on my phone. Ah. His phone's in one spot and his Roblox account's in another. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't feel bad, Craig. Right now, you know, Fork is on here. He's masturbating because this week we didn't use cameras. Uh, Damn right. <laughs> I tell you what, dude, I'm my SSD has allowed me to go three times faster. Exactly. In, All hell the SSD. Sorry. I'm better now. Shit. 
Super Y'all solid dick. Can y'all hear me a little bit? A little no. <laughs> Damn. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all trying to Damn. hear him. Oh, and Alex, uh, bomber. Sadly, his fingers got stuck somewhere they shouldn't have been, and yes, the perfect. surgeons are trying well, to remove them the now. Yes, I thought he was uh, using too much Vagisil on his asshole. That may have been that may have been the problem. <laughs> that may have been the problem, but you know. Either way, that's the message we received. So, and let's get dealer's thoughts on this one. A PS5 slash PSVR2 combo could possibly be Sony's biggest next gen mistake. Yeah, that's um. Is that an article? It's totally an awake? article. We should go all just leave hate comments on it. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, <laughs> I think it's just a dumb article. I mean, if you want a PSVR two, they're not going to bundle that shit. It's fucking mm. stupid. See, that's uh, what they I'm might about say. Too. All right, well, just buy them both at once. That's common sense. So, yeah, I mean, expect the PS5 by itself. Expect PSVR 2 by itself. If you want to buy them both, then buy them both. I just think it's a dumb article. I'm looking forward to getting to VR here soon. Uh, now with the well, I don't know. The pandy is kind of hit or miss. I, I don't know what's going on. So, um, I, I still can't find the fucking Rift S on Amazon. Uh, and I've been looking for one. I just checked yesterday, I think, or the day before, and I still can't find one to get. So, <gasps> yeah, I, mean, I, I forgot. I forgot out. about that, dude. Didn't somebody? I know. Somebody like totally gifted you one, didn't they? I know, right? And I was gonna wait until I got it. Uh, it's to, one of the, it's to kind one of, of announce it. It's one of those fucking fraud ass motherfuckers. On yeah. Twitter. I, yeah. So, it's weird. so we were doing a, a show, right? We're talking about uh, VR, right? And I'm like, I don't know, man. There's just not a lot of games out right now where I'm like gonna want to take a four dollar dive on this thing, right? On this grenade. But I do want to try it. I want that perspective. And Wilmy's like, well, fuck it. I'll get you one. I said, God damn, got you don't got to do that got shit. Got but all right, mm-hmm. motherfucker. Jesus so, Christ. So Wilmy <laughs> gave you one of his 10 VR headsets. Yeah, he, he should have <laughs> just sent me one of his and wiped all the, the dried danger flakes off it or something. Man, I don't know. Roaches. But, <laughs> but basically, uh, yeah, Wilmy hooked me up uh, with with a VR thing. And I'm like, okay, well, now I got to get it. And I couldn't because the fucking panty hit. And I was going to wait until mm-hmm. I got it so I could shout him out and stuff and kind of make it a big thing but um i'm just waiting man again like i'm I'm eager i'm I'm ready to pull the trigger and it's just not available so again anybody knows where one's at that i can order like let me know i'm seeing people here locally trying to sell those things for as much as uh 1200 bucks right now (laughs) (laughs) jesus christ yeah dude people going people going. that's the quest quest right yeah question and but I'm again, seeing... Wilmy's Willie, like super g- generous, and he didn't have to do that shit. So I mean, it was it's kind of a big deal, and uh, I do appreciate mm-hmm. it, man. And I'm seeing people try to sell Switch lights for as much as six, seven hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're not yeah, trying. It... There's a lady that I work with that bought one, and she's like, "Man, that's an expensive console." And I'm <laughs> like, "You know, they're like two ninety nine regularly, right?" She's like, "What?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah how do you shit. Talk the game they really don't cost that your, much. You know, do something fucking stupid. Yeah. It's like they don't cost that much. No, not nope. at all, dude. Removable like, you made sand someone on eBay to know very happy. <laughs> what happened to Microsoft AR? It's 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 alive and well, but it's all it's all corporate based, right? Like Tony Stark, the uh, he Does makes anybody know he anything for a about the AR run? headset? Yeah, like just not a consumer that's build. It's reasonable. Well, it, it's it's like right now it's meant it's like corporate built, right? It's not it's not meant for the everyday consumer, mm-hmm. correct? I mean, you can go out and buy one for fifteen hundred dollars if you want. Yeah, you you can go buy one, but it's you can play Minecraft awesome? on your desk. <laughs> we keep we've got somebody that keeps going in and out. Who in the world are we losing constantly? I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> on the, on, on is the, Stubbs still alive? Yeah, Stubbs. You yeah, I'm, st- I'm still there. Can you hear me? We got yeah, luck, yeah. We can you totally like hear you, Stubbs. We got you, mate. Oh, I've actually right. tried PlayStation VR. It's so. not Australian. What, what do you think Close about enough. it? <laughs> oh, is it a good experience? Well, PlayStation I VR. I had like a game room on holiday last year. I tried uh, Drive Club. 
Oh, He's being ripped impressed. away into the phantom zone. I wasn't very impressed by it. That was all. <laughs> yeah, yeah I Superman right. become English. <laughs> Stubbs, uh, is it me or Stubbs might kind of like crackling hard? Yeah, oh, it's no really bad. What's going on? Stubbs, what's wrong? Hey, Ben, you been, well. you been good, man? Yeah, you been, you been all right over there? Okay. Yeah, you two. Yeah, you two guys are on a podcast together Saturday. Weren't yeah, you? I was just on Stubbs' channel, and, and I'm like, uh, I hear him crackling over there. I just want to make sure he's all right. Make sure he's. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think Dread says it's uh it's Hollywood keeps bouncing in and out. He keeps losing connection. Mm. God damn it! So that's yeah, what we my, keep hearing. My my internet is fucking up, y'all. I'm probably gonna gonna bounce out because. My squirrels ain't turning them hamster wheels fast enough, man. <laughs> well, Cray, it was good to have you again, sir. And hey, I appreciate welcome. it. You're more than welcome to join us anytime, brother. You're more than welcome uh, to come drink it, beer man. with me any week. Hey, no doubt, no doubt. Whenever y'all got room and uh, you want a country motherfucker up there, just hit me up. I'm down. You got Other it, dude. That, man. Y'all enjoy the night, man. Everybody be safe. Uh, I'll yeah, holler at y'all. Man. You too, my hey, friend. Man. Man. See you on Xbox, bro. All right. No doubt, dude. No doubt. Some gears. Let's go. Cool. All right, y'all. Yeah, we can hear him loud and clear now, Dredd. <laughs> but anyway, the Gorilla Collective Showcase mm -hmm. announced for June 6th through the 8th. What do you guys think they're going to be showing? Probably Halo. He's going to have games there. <laughs> I'm going to say it's probably not going to be Halo, Leo. 30 FPS games, no bro. It is, don't get tropes. Oh, Pia, I thought you were talking about the Xbox thing. My bad. This is Gorilla Collective. You know, they Who the fuck just Sony. said 30 FPS mm. game? <laughs> Obi. Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> Fucking Obi. What's up? Because we all know. We know Knack 3 will be. We there. all know Obi hates Sony. But he <laughs> loves them french fried taters, boy. Mm. <laughs> Especially That's the crispy. penis shaped ones. He loves yeah, it. Right not, not, not the penis shaped <laughs> ones. I, I, I spoke a little too late on that one, but. First uh, one. Crunchy penis shaped french fries. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's up with the visitor in our chat? Who? Oh. The, uh, the crap guy. The Y. Oh, oh crap gamer. With, 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 with the Y. The y. I, with the Y. I have no idea, dude. My governor was in here earlier. Mm. So. Yeah. He said Sony's donger, huge egg huge plant. Egg plant. <laughs> <laughs> but so do you guys do you guys think they will be showing the new Horizon Zero Dawn? I think we'll see a tease of it for sure, uh, eventually. Yeah. I think they should. But I think they got something else planned. I'm just not sure what. I mean, they've been actually teasing you look at their social media timeline, uh, they've been kind of teasing the resistance a little bit so i don't know if there's something up with that i know a lot of sony fans uh fans of that franchise have been clamoring for a new resistance for a long time and that was definitely one of the best better shooters that they had yes it uh, was, back on the playstation 3 so it's been a long time and uh you never know but like you know so we'll see i wouldn't be but surprised again, to see some gears of war oh. or not gears Award, but, uh, God of War, but God War. I gotta correct myself on that. I gotta correct myself on that because that's not Gorilla. That's Insomniac. Sorry, Insomniac is that's doing right. Resistance. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, Gorilla's doing Horizon Zero Dawn. How so. dare you, Newfoundland? I don't know. I don't know if the if the Kill Zone franchise if that's tabled or if it's killed off. I mean, uh, the last one didn't do extremely well. Um, a lot of people was called a how on, so I don't know. I, I'm really looking forward to seeing it, though. I hope they are showing something with uh, HZD. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, cool. I think so. I'm just curious probably, to find out. They're showing uh, it coming to PC. 60 frames. It's a ways out, but hey, it's typical for Sony to show off games three and four years in advance. You, right? you are stuck on that 30 frames, aren't you? <laughs> three or four, ten years. He is totally stuck on it. He is fixated <laughs> on it. He is fascinated, bewildered, and fucking dumbfounded on it. You blame Dio for that one. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Obi. There are more important things in the world, sir, than 30 FPS right now. Use the frames, Obi. Increase like, the frames. More Think important things like zero. what the fuck happened my Discord. Discord. What? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I have like, yes. I have 10 boxes with your guys' fucking logos in them. I don't know what I pushed. I have no fucking clue. 
lights up every time one of you talk. I, I, the chat's gone completely. I have no fucking clue what I did. <laughs> I have no you idea what you did out. either. But yes, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll take a screenshot for you. You know where that all started? On beer number seven. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Like yeah, that's pretty sure that's where Ooh. it started. <laughs> Could be 99 users in this chat room. Oh, my God. 99 users, but the bitch ain't one. <laughs> Yeah, Leo. <laughs> Let's say what? I heard you had to. I heard you had to delete your favorite game of all time from your Xbox. Yeah. You had like a little ceremony for it. Lit a candle. Nope. I got rid of a uh, breakpoint because it shut down my Xbox and wouldn't turn back on. Then everyone's like, "You should probably get rid of Borderlands." So I listened to him. Well, you're more. Because it's been doing. We are having some trouble with Discord here all of a sudden, so just uh, kind of bear with us a second. Dreadpool, th you're cut off. I think I think I what happened. You, I think we kept losing Cray so many times. He's going back and forth and in and out. Oh, that didn't even sound good. I know Fork's going to say something on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm busy. He's, he's too busy trying to connect. But yeah, no, uh, I'm I'm taking care of something. Oh, are you thinking yeah. what I'm thinking, Fork? Is that what we're talking about? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. You guys doing another giveaway? Uh, uh well, well, we can address it here. We're we're on YouTube. You want to address it here, sir? Should you? You really talking about the same thing I'm about to do? Well, I mean, if you're talking about mm -hmm. jerking off, then hell no. But I'm talking about what you're mm -hmm. looking at on social media. <laughs> So, I'll just flat out and come out and say it. And uh, that's what I was getting at. Mm. Tech Joe, only, what's up? If anybody ever calls the Forking Crew out as far as being part of it, there's only so many people that are part of the Forking Crew. Uh, me, Wilmy, Ghost, Leo, Cloud, Dragonforge, who rarely shows his head, but he's one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, Cloud, uh, an HR bomber. And Viking. Um, and Viking, sorry, thank you. But, uh, yeah, we got tagged in something today by somebody that was on the panel before I was on the panel. But, um, yeah, saying that he's slowly being ousted by the forking crew, and it's like, you can't be ousted from something you don't belong to, so. Preach! <laughs> Sorry. I mean, that's like someone saying they're being ousted by RDX when it's like, but you're not on the panel. Only yeah. $5,000, we can heal this boy! <laughs> give your I'm soul to Dealer now. To the person, but at the same time, I don't appreciate being called out for something that they don't belong in. So, mm. <laughs> Forks all. Yeah, I, I, I didn't see no contract. Huh? I didn't see I no just, contract. It pisses me off because we do a lot of good stuff behind the scenes, and I don't like someone trying to call us out like we're pushing them out. And it's like, can't push you out of something you're not in. Well, so. here's the bottom mm. line. When you've been on a podcast one time, that doesn't make you a member. Mm-hmm. So uh, who Techno Blast time so in the who's, DFW. Area. Who's we talking about right now? Yeah. Uh, somebody I'm was just on. I'm safe place. Yeah. Hey, somebody. Why you got somebody? I don't know who that is. It's it's a dude on social media when I first started. Damn it. The well, me tell me the fact. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> trying to fucking tell you, dealer. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's not hard. Go to at Forking Crew. Yeah. And he, go look at who's tagged. Why is you making hey. me read and stuff? Because you, got, you got to get you an what? education. God damn it. So at Forking Crew. Yeah, it's an actual I legitimate account. Be. Yeah, I mean, I just don't understand. I don't people. use it a lot, but I don't appreciate someone being a dick. But look, I'll flat out say it: someone has some mental health issues, which some people do, and that's fine. But to basically, when multiple of us have reached out to the person, and basically us get called out, like we're being ousted, like we're pushing them out, I'm like, no, um, it's not my job to be someone that i i don't have a degree i've said if you need something contact me but at the same time i don't have a degree if you need to reach further go ahead i've i and many people from the fork nation which is everybody that follows fork boy and all of us is fork nation um maybe it did mean fork nation Pasma already knows about it because she saw it but i mean multiple people have reached out to him but no one's ousted him he's kind of I don't know. In other words, nobody on this panel is a licensed therapist or any of that good shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm willing to listen. Absolutely though. fucking not. I am willing to listen to anybody. If you have problems, please send me a message. Mm -hmm. I will do my best to listen. But I'm telling you right now, I do not have the answers. I will listen. 
I don't have the answers. And if you're coming I, to I, us for the answers, you are so totally fucked. But anyway, enough of that. Did you guys still see? Still can't find it. it. Yeah, your wife says that all the time. So, anyway, moving forward. Wow. There was a comment, <laughs> Wilmy. Wilmy. <laughs> we, we need to bring up the energy. Well, someone, um, someone, um, someone yeah, said yeah, you yeah. need to bring up your buddy. Uh, I'm your working on it here. Yeah. There Re- it is. Yeah. Respawn founders from Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2, Titanfall, Apex Legends lots a new AAA studio called Gravity Well. They're pushing for a team of 80 to 85 people targeting exclusively next gen games. How fucking excited are you guys for this? Uh, not excited until uh, we see gameplay. Hey, uh, Obi, stop being a fucking downer. And Thank you, not dealer. At, not at I 30 thought all frames. the consoles were going to be held back by the Ouya or Wilmy Hood. Thank you, dealer, for straightening Man, the him iPhone, out. The iPhone 3GS is going to hold everything back, even though we told everybody that, hey, all third parties uh, weren't just going to make stuff for the old shit so they could progress their gameplay design however they wanted to. Uh, kind of weird, Wilmy, how... How uh, the, everything's going to next gen and, and people just thought everything was going to be held back, huh? It's so weird. Who would have thought? Holy yeah, Obi, shit. Why you got to be such a Debbie Downer for? Yeah, Who Obi. Yeah, so <laughs> you know what we need to do? We need to get Zalker to beat Obi with, with like, just Zalker Zalker beat himself in the Zalker forehead all the time. Games, that's just all. Put, put Obi <laughs> in a corner, cover him with mayo, and throw baloney at him. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we throwing baloney at people? That ain't right. Just for the hell of it. <laughs> we need to get oh, Zalker. Sonic, you can suck a dick, bro. <laughs> we we need to get we need to get Zalker to put Obi in a corner, cover him in Duke's mayo, and just throw baloney at him till it sticks. Problem solved. Obi would be straight. You know Obi would catch it all in his mouth. <laughs> He probably would. <laughs> oh, be. oh we are not going to take that. At? Wake up. We are not going to take that in the direction dealer was pointing it into. <laughs> look, look, look at that stinky finger uh, weirdo in the chat now. Yeah. Stop smelling his finger, Obi. Oh, God. <laughs> Stuck his hand in a bag Get of your hot nose cheetah. out of there, man. Get your finger out of there. And, and speaking of dealer, what you just referred to, sir. Uh, the fine folks at Team Blobber, or Bloober, whatever you want to call them, who I really? was, who I was lucky enough to speak to one of their developers a couple of days ago. We got fucking mental, uh, mental mind reading, mind speaking powers. How the fuck are you speaking to all these people, huh? Uh, Telepathy through Twitter. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> sending brainwaves out. No, nah, actually through Twitter. He was yeah, actually I'm nice. Just, yeah, I know, I know, I know. He actually okay, offered ahead, him yeah. a VR headset. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> said, hey, you want to try Half-Life? <laughs> hey, no. you got five extra. You want one? I got one of these VR headsets for $1,400. Obi's over there selling them. <laughs> Wilmy's over there selling them. <laughs> He's a black market VR headset seller. <laughs> that's it. That That's how I make the money, dude. <laughs> I'll take one off your shelf. <laughs> But anyway, Team Blobber officially revealed, of course, as we know, the medium. And all these develop all these guys in the company came came out and said this game could not run on current gen consoles. There's no way. Not mm-hmm. even on the the one X. There's just no way it could handle it. Mm-hmm. Um, well, yeah, depends. Like again, we gotta we gotta stress the fact that as gameplay design, right, things right, that right, really right. have nothing to do with visuals at the end of the day. Right. That restrict it from running on your current Xbox. That's it. Same and, fucking Jaguar course. And I actually already made a video on this going into full detail. I've spoken to some people and I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and make a video on this. And uh, I might push it back a little further, but um, that one's ready to go. And I've kind of done a lot of uh, research on this too. So, um, yeah, I mean, did they did they even, did they say, give me any specifics on like PCs uh, kind of minimum spec or any of that what, what do you think the limitation is there will they didn't give any specific details yet mm. not yet obi-wan i mean what do you what do you think the what do you think the minimum spec cpu is obi-wan huh oh i have no idea i'm googling something okay you're it's useful it's gotta be a night <laughs> five seven hundred i would say stubs what are your thoughts dude Jesus. stubs 
Stubbs. Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about the uh, the Bloober team came out and said that the, their, their new game, the Medium, will not be able to run on the new on any current gen hardware? It is going to be specifically for the Xbox Series X. Right, do, what like do you up. What do like you cop. think? Oh, go ahead. It looks like quite a powerful game, so I would have thought so. But I don't know note about tech though, so that's my answer. I'm not really... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I, like the I, alternating I hope, between two something. worlds on the fly that are that big, right? What? That or it's got something. the damn nemesis system from uh, Shadow War. Oh, that's the thing, right? So, like, the Nemesis system, that's one thing that I keep bringing up, uh, back up. Uh, we had the Nemesis system, Xbox One and the PS, um, S4, not on the Xbox 360 or the PS, or, or the PS3. So, is it, is it a system com- that will not be able to utilize any uh, of the power of this current gen, they're, they're, just go, they're just going exclusively next gen, so we can see something different. Is it just a transitioning between the worlds? Because like I mentioned before earlier, we did see something quite similar, maybe not to that scale that they're trying to do this. Um, this whole gotta world have some, like, gotta have something, something right? right? Unfortunately, they didn't give us any detail, but I'm I, it, it keeps it gives me more excitement to see. That, um, see this game now that we know that it's next gen only, right? So Xbox Series X only. I just hope that it's, it's um, more than just graphical fidelity. I hope it's doing something, you know, pushing the limits uh, of where the design can the design can be. Well said. Very since well said. No, since no one else wants to kill the dead air. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's good, man. Because like oh, next gen, right? A lot cat. of Sorry. I think a lot of people just get the misconception that uh, you know better graphics and uh, you know and higher frame rates and shit like that. That's what we want next gen. Yeah, yeah of course. But we, we want, want all that see and more different. and more. Exactly. I mean, actually, you know what the problem is? Everything. You know what the problem is with some of these motherfuckers? This defeats that whole scaling argument. And like, no, you fucking idiot! It yeah, actually right. reinforces it. We said that nothing, that the old shit isn't going to hold the new shit back. And of course, we're speaking about graphics because the, the very, what's the first thing they brought up when, oh, it runs on the original Xbox One. That's why it looks like that. Halo Infinite. That's the thing. That's the thing they brought up. Halo, that's, Halo Infinite don't even look that good. It's running on the old Xbox. They don't even understand that the visual scale, anything from the, the, low, the, the lowest of the low to the highest of the highest in hardware, when in reality, the thing that, we're talking about holding shit back isn't visually based. It's stuff like the medium gameplay right. design. You just can't do it. It's not possible. The hardware just can't do certain things, right? Like the end of the tech demo today with PlayStation five, the chicks flying through the world, not possible on a 5,400 RPM hard drive and Jag cores. Just can't RPM. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. So you just can't, you can't do that. It's impossible. That's well, gameplay design. So again, when these guys are saying man. that defeats the scaling argument, no, the medium actually backs it up and says they're not holding back. They're not held back right. by old stuff. They're not going the old stuff. If they did go the old stuff, the graphics would scale up just like they do on PC. The best looking stuff I've ever seen. Arkham Knight is an Umbrella Engine 3 game and looks better than 99% of shit when it's running on PC. That's I mean, amazing. that game looks insane. Uh, and, this, is and this still buggy as well. fuck, though? Not mine. Mine works ah, pretty man. good. Mine I don't great. know if they patched it or what, that's but shocking. I sprinkled some crack on it. It's good. <clears throat> Bro, you play that game now, it still holds up so well. It's unbelievable. It, unbelievable. it looks like a next gen game even to this day. Yeah. It just make it just gets me excited for next gen, man. I hope more we get to see more design elements um from these developers rather than just, you know, something that looks pretty. Obviously we want it all. We want the I think we'll get frames. Both. I mean well, that's yeah, the yeah, beauty of it, man. You don't gotta choose. Absolutely. Uh, you know, then that this developer is doing with the medium. Um, I'm excited to see just because, um, you know, shifting like that. I don't know. I, I don't know too much. I don't know any about game development, but I'm assuming it's layers. I don't know if it's layers on top of layers where one layer is turning off. The other one is becoming active, you know. Oh, so, 
uh, the and, and the game looked it, it looked you know intriguing as as hell you know from that demo. So excited, man! It's gonna be good. Yeah, I was engrossed in the trailer, like that. <laughs> whatever that wasn't gameplay, or at least I'm assuming it wasn't. It that was a cinematic, but it it, yeah, yeah. it had me. It grabbed me quick. I was in the same way for sure. grabbed me too, you, man. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to know what was happening it. after that demo. It's like, is that a game? Can we play this? <laughs> according to it. according to Artur, the gentleman I spoke to, he says you have not seen anything yet. He said, so it gets better. Hey. Oh yeah, he well, said to... he said this game is going to blow people away. To be fair, they didn't even have the uh, the you know, the time to. Sh- Properly show that game. They have to show a, a one or two minute trailer really quick, just so we can get a synopsis of what the game's gonna do. So pretty much, I yeah, mean that game. Uh, I mean, just the tone of that game alone, uh, I was excited for. Uh, I'm really into like you know all the uh, horror genre, supernatural. Yeah, give it. I, I don't care. Give it all to me. Take. Oh, and everybody knows me. I'm all about my horror games. I can't wait to see yeah. what the new Resident Evil looks like. <clears throat> Thank you, Leo. That's what we were getting ready to talk about next. And this will be the last topic for the night because Dealer wants to get off here and make videos and be popular. Quit hanging out. Probably with sleep. <laughs> no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually eat. Oh, yeah, damn. Eat and then sleep. I forgot we're in different time zones. Yum, okay. Yum, 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 yum. Resident Evil 8, reportedly the darkest, most gruesome entry yet. Fans may be shocked. Everybody except Wilmy Hood because he's going to love this shit. I was going to say, sign me up. For <laughs> damn right. Yeah, like instantly. And what they're saying is that Ethan Winters and Chris Redfield will be in flashbacks. And they're using a lot of inspiration from Resident Evil 4 more open with a European style village setting. So like RE4. Yep. And they are saying this one is going to be the most gruesome to date. They have never made another Resident Evil quite like this one. Damn, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> right? I'm totally fired up about that. Man, I, I can't either, but there is, sadly, there's like no no hint of a release. So maybe 2021. See, well, 2021, not even a whiff of ever, ever. Not I've only ever played the remakes. They're actually pretty good. Hang on. Wait, what did you say, Obi? Let me get that fucking. Uh, what did you say? <laughs> Said, I've only played the remakes. And then? And I, I played Dan. seven until <laughs> and, and, and then and then sorry, Obi. So, I just wanted people to he- be able to hear what you were saying, you know, because you're talking so fucking yeah. low. Talking, yeah, Obi, yeah. I've only like played the remake. remake. Never played any. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. No, I got the first one. Oh, wait, was it number two? I got that one from the friendly neighborhood fraud. Um, Dollars night gave it to me. Um, no, the other other guy, um, uh, Phil Spencer. That, that, that would be that would be you. Oh yeah. Oh Wait, wow. Yeah, I, did, I did. I did get that for you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the third one, yeah, the the, the great Dar's Night uh, was was so ge- ge- uh, generous, and uh, that one was awesome too. I actually like that one better than number two. Yeah, they're great, and uh, I really am looking forward to the eventual RE4 remake and. Uh, anything they're working on at this point, the Resident Evil team has been on fire. I think they're the best Western Jap, like the best Japanese studio at the moment, in my opinion. They make the most Western style Japanese games, and I don't really like the the more traditionally Japanese type type of games. I, I like how they've kind of built a bridge in between the two. And Resident Evil Three, Resident Evil Two, uh, Resident Evil Seven, and hopefully this new one. Which could actually feature werewolves or some shit, I heard. I don't even know. That's what I heard, too. Yeah. Mm. Right? Uh, who fucking knows? But at the end of the Resident day, anything they're making, I'm excited for it. I will play the fuck out of it. I will get it day mm. one. Um, and I might even lick right. it. I they have they've started started some shit, and they don't even the know game. it. Well, I, know, uh, I love how uh, Tom's releasing uh, multiple games still in this quarter, so maybe we'll get lucky and it'll come out before Jake. Like, or was it 2021 20, January? Yeah, hopefully. All these people yeah. that want to remaster mm-hmm. games need to take a page out of these people's book and start remaking it. Like, rebuild that bitch from the ground up. 
Yeah, if you're gonna yeah, rebuild, I don't mind, I don't mind a proper successful. remake. I mind a proper remake. I just hope that um don't get like Resident Evil fatigue. You know, they came out with two, and then real quick came out with three. Mm-hmm. Now, extremely like the remake. But the next one was, might be first person though, right? Like it might yeah, change it so, up. Like I didn't play Resident Evil Seven, right? But they said, what? "Oh, it's good." I, I have it. I have oh, it. I just, he man, said, "I have it." I just give a fuck. God damn, there's too many goddamn games to play. What do you want me to do, man? The games now they are like a hundred plus hours. What do you want oh, me to do? On. Resident Evil Seven I'm booted up. Life. No, I know. No, I um, I I didn't play it, but they said the experience on that was uh, like no other, right? So it was a first person. They took a chance, and they keep doing these remakes, and um, just hope that on on eight. You know, yeah, keep taking a chance, give shit, us something man. different, and freaking. Um, well, they're almost out Resident Evil's to remake, anyways. So, yeah. <laughs> but, like, now if you think about it, there's a Resident Evil every single year. Is that a good mm-hmm. thing or a bad thing? I think the anticipation is a remake is a good thing, in my opinion. The way they do it, it's not a bad thing, in my opinion. Like, oh, like if you play Resident Evil 4 now, right? It kind of does that game. I mean, it's what? When did that game come out? 20 years ago maybe more yeah oh. something like that i like that right it's hard to oh. play <laughs> it's just tough um times you know one 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 franchise that's the so well i mean Cap- capcom's been killing it too so oh yeah um, um they came out with resident evil 2 they saw the success on that came out with three real quick which came out with you know mix views because of the length of the game it still looked phenomenal played great and then they announced a resident evil 4 then there was a little bit of backlash and now they you know they say okay no a is gonna be something unexpected you guys are gonna really love this so let's hope they do it right man so we don't you know um just keep getting the same thing over and over uh ben it'll ben start remaking devil may cry oh, yeah. <laughs> stop with the remakes damn it no mm. remakes I mean, yeah, okay, that's why we're right. stop, stop with like the remasters. Mix. That's why we're not going to touch the, the old remasters. Tony. Remakes Tony are Hawk fine play. from the older generations. Okay. You know, yeah, like yeah. Final Fantasy VII came out on play. You know, games that go back to the original PlayStation hardware before the dual analog sticks when graphics were very crude and stories weren't fully realized. I'm okay with that. Stuff that's not that old. I mean, like, already, like, the fact that Activision remade a couple of Call of Duty franchises, which, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think anybody was asking them to remake those games at this point. I mean, they're not even old, and they never looked bad to begin with. So, that's kind of, you know, that's that's more of a money grab. But anything that's old on old Harbor, Sega Saturn stuff, PlayStation stuff, or maybe even use some old 16-bit IPs and put them in a brand new fresh coat of paint, you know, in a... In a in a three D real fully realized world would be cool, you know. Bring you me tell fear. Me, tell me that you guys are gonna the shit on the mafia collection that's incoming. I can never it. It's amazing. I see this. Never so. played it. It's the greatest it's thing ever. Never played. I could care yeah, less. I'd rather have really me some good. Good. Holy crap! I tried mafia <laughs> three. It was okay. Mm-hmm. We think that's the one. Frames. The one in uh, like, Louisiana. Yeah, yeah, that's a good game. I want to see fear. Give me the games fear. One, Ooh, two, and three. Yeah, That'd be good. Like the... Either either give me fear or stop making fucking remasters. <laughs> I never played fear. I don't lie. The first time I played Does fear, anybody... there was a sequence to during that game. They had to climb the ladder. Then mm-hmm. like it took control for you. And then right. once you got to the top of the ladder, she was up there, like right in front of the camera. Bro, that shit scared the shit yeah, out almost. of me. Oh, oh, damn. What is fear? What is that? Little Alma dude did not fucking yeah. play. Dude, that game was fire. She they need to vicious. remake Gex. That's what they need to do. There was Fierce. a four disc game for the PlayStation called mm. Fear Effect. I remember Does that. Does anybody too. remember it? No, dude. I remember it. I, that was the. It was a super puzzle game. That's that's all it was. It was yep. meant to try and scare mm. you, but be a puzzle game. And I don't know. I remember that game a lot. It was it was fun as fuck. Isn't Fear based off the Fear Effect games? Or like in the same vein of it. I honestly don't know. I don't know either, to be sure. Because I thought it was like the same universe or some crap like that. And Josh, I just know he got stuck a lot. Josh, I don't really remember Shadow Man, dude. I don't remember that one at all. Uh, and Black Sixth dude covered in tattoos, and supernatural powers. Yeah, it's kind of it was uh, based of off a comic book by 